Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome in the most underrated podcast, broadcasting with certified tattoo studios. The homie Dow Palantonio sitting across from me. I am your man Thomas the Franchise. JJ String Team here at the end of the table. My man JR sitting in from the re-up. We'll get to him in a minute. We got a ton of sneaker talk with Sneaker Con coming this weekend. So much stuff to deal with. Man, my headphones are not. I'm not. Are you hearing me? Loud? You sound great, man. Do I? I can't even hear myself. I think I messed up my thing, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's a little low. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Now it sounds a little bit better. All right, man. Uh, Tons of show. So much show. Uh, NHL playoffs, NBA playoffs, sneaker con coming up, tons of sneakers and fashion, sneakers and Supreme this morning, a little bit of, uh, I have some draft props, NFL draft Mm. props, maybe we can wager a little money, we'll see how, we'll see how uh, willing you guys are to lose money to me here when we get into the NFL draft props. I see how it is. (laughs) Oh, look at JJ Deep Pockets over there, welcome to the show. Hey, welcome to the show, all right, (laughs) all right, cool man. Um, No, but let me start this out, this is actually a sad note. I shouldn't even be starting the show. I don't like to start the show on sad notes, but unfortunately, uh, let me just let me just show you guys this. And see if you can understand what's happening here. Look at this, fellas. Oh, look man. what it is! I know exactly rip. what that is. Dude, Fucking sucks, dude. rip dog. That's the Gucci AirPod case rippage. So I have no idea what happened. I'm not blaming anyone. My man Goldeneye. Hooked me up with one of probably my favorite accessory of the year so far, the Gucci AirPod case. Yeah. I had it strapped onto my shorts yesterday, and uh, I have no idea what happened. I got home. I went to. I came to work all day. It was on there. I remember getting in my car last night, and I put my headphones in. I took my AirPods out of it when I got in my car. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. When I got in my car, I put the, the uh, AirPods in. Drove home, made a couple calls on the way home because I don't like to be using the phone and driving, so I use the AirPods. Stopped by the store on the way home, and it wasn't until I got home from the grocery store that I noticed it was like, fellas, if you're old enough to be doing some fucking, it's like when you're uh, you have sex with a girl for the first time, you're a young young man. This happened to me. You, the condom breaks. If you had your first experience with a condom breaking, it just stays strapped around the end of your dick, and you're you're looking for it. Have you ever had that happen? Yeah, you're like, what the fuck? Where did it go? Is it inside her? Is it on the bed? So, yeah. Do you got? I don't know if you guys ever had that experience. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm talking to myself here. I don't know. I've w- I've, but, went, I've went mining for gold once. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It wasn't my proudest. Jeez, it it wasn't my proudest moment. <laughs> I'm for real though. Only once. For real though. Jeez. Uh, I it was it was similar to that situation, dude. Yeah. It was like I was like looking down, like, oh fuck, where did it go? Where's the AirPod case? I'm looking all over, and I look down at my belt loop. And this shit is just hanging there, dog. Just strapped. Man. So it's just the. Uh, sorry, I guess I'm not painting a good picture. If you're listening on iTunes and not watching on YouTube, it's just the hook for the AirPod case, and then like a partial the, piece of the strap. Yeah, a partial piece of the strap. Like it just somehow the stitching busted Damn. loose. So what I do have here is a set of AirPods on the table because these were in my ears while I was at the grocery store. No so I, way. Yeah, I was consuming content. I was listening no to... No way. Yeah. So the AirPods were in. The case is gone. Uh, I just found out a couple weeks ago, I think I saw it on Twitter, that you could search your AirPods with Find My iPhone. Yeah. They, they're linked to it. So I was like, oh, cool. I'll be good. It it only searches the AirPods. Yep. It doesn't search the case. Not the case. So in my Yeah. So if the AirPods are in the case, you're good. You'll, you'll find the whole package by Find My iPhone. If not... How it was shitty. Is yeah, that? It, it just Damn, searches these, dog. which I have. I just don't have the case, so I have no way to charge them <laughs> so now. How much is the case alone? I have no idea. I haven't uh, even looked. I'm uh, just so disappointed. Well, you bought let, a case. Let Dal Palantonio come in and rescue <laughs> you here. Okay? Oh, you got you got info. <laughs> Here's a, a, so number one. I have my old. You're case. really sorry, and you feel bad. I for have me, my old one. case. Okay. You know what? Let's all just quiet down here. Okay. I have an old case. Because I bought a wireless case, oh! So now I can give you, I can, I can give, I can gift the homie an old case. Number yes! one, number two, let's go. Number two, you can be a big man. You can step up to the plate and get yourself a wireless. No, I don't. I don't. Case. I don't want to be a big man. I don't want to step up to the plate. I will take the free one from you. Okay. Gladly. Actually, I don't even know if it's free. Are you giving it to me for free, or do you I want me to it, give I you give, a little? I give you. I, I give it to the homie. What do you want? What do you want for it? How much? This your fr- is your chance. You, your friendship is enough. Yes, that's what I'm. T- <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Your friendship is enough. Get you some friends. First, the, the homie Gold and I gifted me this gift. That was free. Nice guy. Yeah. Took care of your boy. Then I went ahead and lost that. Lost the AirPod case, and now the homie Dal is coming through. I'm so blessed right now. 
Yeah. We are back. This is how I. This is we how I'm feeling back. right now. We I, 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 literally, I just have it chilling on the nightstand, dog. Just the without a home. I love it. You know what I mean? I, you know, wish I, you know what I wish you could cue for me? What's that? Well, I got friends in low places. I can't. I don't have that, that one, but I have. Don't tell my heart. That's good. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> what, speaking of this, what are you doing with the yes, mullet? dude, you are, are you just going procrastinating for the right now. You know Whoa, what? Whoa, Stringer, wow. You all, you, Jesus. You're yeah. fully in or you're fully out. Damn. Make that decision today, dog. What did you have? Bang energy drinks this morning? Wow. I had some Red Bull. I'm hyped up. Wow. I have lost a lot of sleep. <laughs> I'm ready for this shit, wow. motherfucker. God, I can't wait to see. <laughs> I can't wait to see how he did on Supreme this morning, man. Down I sneakers ain't got of fashion. Shit. That's tight. God. Oh my Damn. gosh. All right. Are you really doing this or not? What are you doing here? Um. So my lady is busy. I tried to get uh, get with her all week to get the haircut. Get oh, your haircut lady. I thought you were talking yeah. about Robin. I was no, like, no, what? Robin's haircut cutting lady. your hair now? Yeah. My hair cut lady. lady. I was like, what's going on? All right. Yeah, so she. Suck and cut? Yeah, so, well, no, none of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> none of the app. But uh, no, she's uh, she's a little busy oh, this week. Shit. So she couldn't get me in. So uh, I'm tempted to go to Floyd's and just get the sides cut. Uh, dude, you have to before the con. And you need to dude. bring those Neff glasses. We've got to take pictures with people yeah. in the Neff glasses with the mullet, with whatever the hell I'm wearing. I'm really trying to get the dog walkers, and I want to wear those to Sneaker Con on Saturday. If somebody has those locally, in a 12. Let me get a pair. Yeah. I really want those SB dog walkers for Saturday. I want to I want to wear that, and I want to actually get a full-on dog outfit. I just want to get a dog suit. I want to be up in there like mm. Dumb and Dumber, and I want to pull up in the sheep dog. <laughs> in the, yeah, in the, in the, I know exactly what you're saying. In the 1988 sheep dog. Oh, man, that'd or whatever be so sick, yeah. No, but I really want the dog walkers, though. I whatever I'm going to match them with, I don't know, but... I want that pair. That's yeah. what I want to wear. You're wearing the Aqua Fresh. You'll see me icy with the Aqua Fresh. As we already know, remember this. I can't wait till you wear these for a day. The first day after <laughs> you wear these for a full day, yeah. call me and let me know how your toes are feeling. I'm gonna wear them to sneaker con all day. <laughs> oh, and perfect. I'm gonna really be the though? I'm gonna be the anti hype beast because there's no hype on these. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll wear these. I'm not gonna do uh, wear the Jordan One Please Unions. Do, I'm not gonna wear them. You gotta buy an Aqua Fresh shirt. Okay, we I'll gotta get it. a shirt with okay. like just an Aqua Fresh it. on it, dude. And that's how you wear the sneaker. Dude, that's it. It's hard to remember. There it is. It's hard to remember that day. I love that day. <laughs> I love that day so much. Now you're now you're committed. I'm committed. Now you're super committed. I'll put the Neff glasses on. I think I can rock those. Dude, you I was in such a bad mood this morning. You just because of this, yeah. this hook with the AirPod case that's gone that is now found. Yeah. It's not really found, but you're it's replacing it. Yeah. Yeah. My day is, I'm feeling so good right now. Yeah. The smile has not left my face since you said that. I might just hand deliver them to you today. Right now? Yeah. I am I am feeling. I'll hand deliver them today. I don't even have a sound bite on it's the no board problem. good enough to explain how I'm feeling. Hell yeah! I'm just feeling great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> feeling great. Uh, like I said, man, tons of show for you guys. And I don't even know. Let's um, let's start. Uh, let's start. Let's go back a couple nights. Let's start with Tuesday night. And uh, take it back a little bit. Well, you need some headphones. You need your headphones up, JJ. All right. Uh, let's go back to Tuesday night. Let's start with um, let's start with the Dame Lillard because yeah. that's the that's how I was watching it. Tuesday night was so packed, bro. Between trying to catch the uh, Nuggets game, yeah, the Nuggets and Spurs. Then you had the game seven with the Sharks and uh, Vegas Golden Knights Golden there. Knights, yep. Then you had Dame Lillard trying to close it out with OKC. I didn't have enough TVs and yeah. enough. I was bouncing back and forth, yeah. going all over the place. Let's start out with the with the shot. Hold on, real quick. I did have enough TVs. That was the night that I was at Old Seas. Remember? Oh, that's I, right. I gave you, you the me. invite. Yep. Yep. You know, called yep. you over the phone, just saying, "Hey, man, I'm in your area." Yep. But you had already had plans with the lady. Yeah, she was making dinner. Cooking. No, it was uh, spaghetti. Oh, she spaghetti. spaghetti. Yep, yep. I'm still Italian. Right. right. So, uh, so yeah, I actually invited you to that. But dude, I'll tell you what. There was no better place to watch it at Old Seas. There was hardly nobody in there. Really, I figured dude, it'd be packed out. They had annoying. three dollar fat tires. Wow. I kept him coming. Kept him coming. Now, did I pay yesterday morning in the bathroom? <laughs> bad? For for all those three dollar <laughs> bad? He said? Oh, bad. So bad. Uh but uh I had the pep rolls there. I had three dollar fat tires that just kept on coming yesterday morning, not tight. The game's <laughs> Tuesday night. Fire. Super fire. Super fire. So you and Rojas went over there, you called yeah. me. I didn't go. I already had uh food on the table or food cooking and everything. Right. So I should have gone, obviously, because I missed out. Yeah. Were you able to consume the reason I don't I'm I'm not a big uh I feel like I'm getting old because I'm not a big go out and watch stuff at a sports bar guy anymore. Sure. I, occasionally here and there. Yeah. But most of the time, especially in big games, I like to catch them at the crib because I love the sound. Yeah. I like the analysis. I like to be locked in the zone. I'm ADD as hell. I get too distracted. I'm talking to people. People are trying to talk to me. I'm ordering food. I can't really hear what's going on. Yeah. 
I don't enjoy that environment. You talking about how it was almost empty, wasn't a lot of people in there. Yeah. How was the environment? It was good. Uh, so they had uh, a couple. They had two games that had the master volume. Okay. So they had the Nuggets game, obviously, uh, during most of that transmission, and then they had the hockey game. Believe it or not, uh, the Rockies were also playing. I believe the Phillies that night. So, dude, there was a lot going on. Yeah. Um, but those were the two dominant games, and the fact that there was nobody in there. You could kind of strategically sit wherever you wanted to be able to optimize your sound and your video quality, which was super sick. So from that aspect, I thought it was a great experience, man. But again, I'm a big commentating guy. I love the commentating, even if it's the stinker Chris Webb. I think he's I think he's atrocious. You Chris Webber? Chris Webber. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's a Michigan just, man. Uh, trust me. I mean, he's Mr. Yeah. Fab. He's Fab but Five. He's, he's, he's just known not. for the infamous timeout that wasn't there. <laughs> totally. You know. Uh, I still I don't respect Chris Webber to be honest with you because I I, I think either. the guy's a little bit of a bitch he is. because he he chose to stay out of the Fab Five documentary they yep. did the thir- ESPN thirty for thirty documentary yep. didn't want any part of it he's never come back and uh, done anything for the University of Michigan he's never come back and apologized he's never spoke about the incident it's just bitch made yeah like dude it's thirty years ago yeah like get over it he but, won't he won't return calls he, dude, to a lot of them no he won't return calls people if uh. If he is on the air with someone or he does an interview, he yeah. makes it specifically known, do not talk, talk about, about this. I'm not answering any. I've heard him hang up the phone on interviews about um, when people asked him about it. Right. It's just annoying. Yeah. It's like, dude, man the fuck up. He's the worst. Like, man up, dude. Right. So, yeah, anyway, C-Webb. Even though he's a Michigan man, I don't. I'm not a fan of C Web at all. I don't. I don't think it's. It would be different if it would be a, a totally different thing if I could see. If I would uh, watch C Web's commentary and be like, "Oh, this guy does a great job on commentary." Man, I hate what he did at Michigan. I hate how he acts. I hate that he uh, doesn't. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? That he doesn't acknowledge yeah. that that happened. Mm-hmm. But he's an incredible commentator. That's not the case either. Nope. The guy's <laughs> shitty on commentary, and he's shitty, the with, and he's making shitty decisions. So yeah, yeah I don't, I don't like C Web. Not a C Web fan at all, by any means. But go ahead, continue. Oh, but so yeah. you're just saying his commentary? Yeah. Right? So his yeah. commentating was awful. But uh, that being said, what were we, where were we going with that? Okay, so here we, so well, I guess we'll start with the Nuggets because yes. it's short and sweet. Yep. Nuggets are whooping ass right now. Holy they're shit. finding, they're finding their groove. Wow. They look to close it out tonight in San Antonio. Yeah. They got to go back for Game Six. Hopefully, this is it. Three to two or four to two, they knock them out. They're done. What do you think they close? Do you think they close it out tonight? I just want to spend a brief amount of time on this because obviously it's going to be over by sure. the time people hear this. I don't. I don't think they close it out. I think San Antonio. Uh, Damn it, Dallas! I know. I know. They still got the jitters. Uh, no, I just I, I think their continuity is good right now. I think I think the momentum is definitely on their side. I just think it's going to be a little too difficult to close out in San, San Antonio. You just can't. Over- I don't, dude. You, look at the past two games. The pe- last two games, they've blown them out. It feels like they kind of they hit their stride. They got their number. They found their groove. Whatever yeah. you want to say, Emperor's new groove. Yeah, Stella got her groove back. <laughs> However you want to do it, I think they close it out tonight. I, I just uh, I think- I, you just can't second guess a pop uh, a Popovich team. I, I at home, I just can't. I, I think they come home and they close it Saturday night in Here, Game Seven. We we give it all. We take it all the way to a Game Seven. Pepsi I don't Center. Like that. I, I don't know. I, I think, don't like that. I think it's going to be a uh, probably like two three point game, but Nuggets no, take it tonight. Yes. All right. Okay. Put your money where your mouth is. Oh, fellas. you guys want one? What okay. do you got? What do you guys want? One? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, do you want to do a spread or do you want to just do a uh, just a win or a loss? Let me see. What is the spread tonight? On the the spread game? should be probably what five, five and a half. I haven't even looked. Let's see if that's changed. I'm pulling it up right now. I could be wrong. Are you? Uh, how much are you trying to throw down? Uh, I throw a twenty spot for 20 sure. Twenty spot on the spread or straight up? Uh, that's dep- depends. What's the spread? Sp- a whole. Because if it was five, money line if it was basketball. five, I would take the spread. Okay, I'll take the spread. What's the spread? San Antonio minus three. So I'll take wow. the Nuggets plus three. I like Ooh, that. I don't know if I, I like that. I don't know if I, I don't know if I, I want to take that. What do you mean? Oh my Dallas. god! Stop it right now! I don't know if I can take that. What do you That's... mean? You're you're just talking. I'll take the. That's spread. a three pointer, dude. Come on. Okay, so San Antonio has to win by what four. Was it? It's Ten, them minus it was three. Minus so they need to win three. by four or more. You said they're going to close it out, no, or you said they're going to stay you're alive confident here. In your team. That's not my team. <laughs> That's not my team. Um, Vegas is with you. Vegas agrees with you. Vegas, Vegas is on your side. Uh, yeah. the they mullet, like the San Antonio tonight. Damn. Man, go with your guy Derek White from Parker, Colorado. I know. What are you guys doing? He's the only he's the only tie that binds over there, man. He's the only thing holding it together, I think. LaMarcus sure isn't. I think that team DeRozan, I think I think the team's pretty good. Guys, stop trying to take my 20. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I think the team's really great. I think great. I think they're really great. I, said, know, I think they're pretty uh, good. Top three coach God. of all time. All right. Hand me your 20. I think they're good. All right, let's do it. You brought I'll it do up. It. 20 bucks. I'll take them. I'll take minus, minus three. three. I like it. 20 bucks minus three. JR, you want in on this? Um, I'll do uh, I'll do 20. They win. 
20, just the the Nuggets win. Yeah. Okay, so so you're by no point like no, no. spread. So you don't need any spread. points. Okay, so straight up with him, you're going spread with me. I could do that. Yeah. So you want a straight up Nuggets win, and I'll do the spread of minus three Spurs. Yeah. With you. Yeah. So I have the Nuggets plus three. All right, I'm good with that. Yeah. All right, here we go. I love it. You guys already the, know what the happened. The money's already well, rolling. It looks like Dow just wa- lost forty bucks. <laughs> hey, Jr. Uh, uh, hey, Stringstein. String. Are we gonna have to? How are we gonna have to? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Why don't you put your damn money where your mouth is? What you got? I don't need you going broke before sneaker con. I don't need you going oh, broke. Oh wow! Well, well look at him of... looking out for your pocketbook. Hey, just wait till I bring the Sean Witherspoons dead stock. Ooh. Just wait till you see the come up I come on. Spoons. Okay. Not even money. I'm gonna do massive trades. Okay, sneaker con, watch out. Are you? We'll see how yeah. successful that actually yeah. is. Dude, Dude, you heard I, it first. Hey. If you're looking to do some trades, yeah. what do you wear? 10 or 10 and a half? Well, well that, that's why I'm getting rid of these. They're a size 9, which is a great size, dude. The greatest trade bait size, Oh, the Witherspoons. What's your price, cash? So, I don't want cash unless somebody get So, cash, I would say... If I had a sell, uh, if I had a buyer right now, what would you do, cash? Um, do, hold that thought. We're not in sneakers and fashion yet. Yeah, let's fashion. finish the let's NBA combo. <laughs> let's bring it back. Okay, so let's bring it back. So, I've got 20. Oh, with you, cliffhanger. 20. What is Dow's price? <laughs> yeah. on the <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to it. Twenty with you, twenty with Jr. String scene. What do you got? Like I said, do you want to do five? Pass. Do you want to do five? You're gonna pass. I only. P- I o- oh my god. Hey, what I'd did you just say? Didn't you just say Dow was losing forty? Yeah. Did what you? happened to that? Aren't these two okay, your best friends? Okay, okay. You used to work for this I, guy. Okay. You worked oh, with this guy. What do you got? I don't want to do twenty. I don't want to take all your money. A hundred. <laughs> JR says 100. <laughs> JR is crazy. Stringstein, what do you want to do? I'll do 10. You want 10 to do 10? Bucks? All right, he's in. In at 10. There he is. So let's see. 20, 40, oh, he, he 50. Said, he said 10, the, it's a tie. 10 of what? You put him oh. <laughs> words in my mouth. I was like, wait, what? what? That is some straight Stringstein up, type straight shit. Straight up. Not know what's going on. Straight up W, right? Straight up W nuggets. for 10. And you got yes. the Nuggets. All right. Wow. I'm 50 in all of a sudden. I'm the only one that wanted the three points. That's fine. No big deal. You guys are going a little Dude. bit more fair. Okay, yeah. let's. I'm taking. I'm being greedy. My I'm past three. bets on the spread have always fucked up, so I'm not going down that route no Franchise, more. Franchise, I might make you a bet right now. What's that? I'm already 50 in. Yeah, I'll make you a bet that I'll be 150 in by the end of the show with your props. Oh, <laughs> you want to bet on that? <laughs> Probably. Damn All it! Right. I need to have the Dumb and Dumber sound. Yeah, I bet no you shit. I can get you gambling by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. No way. Ten to one odds. <laughs> <laughs> five five yeah, to one. Yeah. Three to one. All right, you're <laughs> off. All right, you're off. <laughs> Man, that's so funny. Dude. All right, so let's get back to Dame. Okay. You want to start with that? Let's. Yeah, so the Nuggets. Okay, we got the Nuggets got out the of the way. Let's start with the big Dame shot, and then we'll get into hockey. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get to see this live. Oh, my God. I know. God. Because I was on the, on I was the, on the game yeah. seven. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I was on the hockey. I don't blame you on that. I did not get to see it live, but when I did see it, I saw it from every angle, and I went back, and I had, a, I had the game recorded, so yeah. I did get back, and I didn't just see highlights. I got to go back and watch the thing. Uh, give me your reaction. What were you thinking when he was just standing there? Yeah. How were you? Were you thinking he was going to pull up and shoot? Were you gotcha. thinking? Is he? You know, what, what? What were your thoughts there? Well, before I go into that, I had a thirty spot on this on a second half bet. Uh, so I had a second half bet on the Portland Trailblazers, and arguably so. OKC was up almost the entire game, at least the entire second half. So I put thirty bucks. On the second half bet on Portland, taking the win and won $30 from the homie Dez. So that was tight. Mm. So that's where it started. Okay. Because obviously, you know, this was neck and neck, man. Within the last minute and a half is where this game t- completely took a turn, uh, to a completely left turn, and uh, we were able to pull out the win. This shot, holy hell. Did you hear what Dame said? So with this shot, uh, to echo this, he had been working with his trainer, Dame Lillard, right? Uh, the previous at, at practice, the, the day, or day or two before, right? Yes. And him and his trainer, his trainer was telling him, like, dog, you need to work on these shots. You need to work on these outside shots yep. just as a random, you know, I, I think it's, your time's coming up. I got, the, uh, I got the sound bite. Do you? He yeah. was kept echoing that. So this Here, shot, I'll play it for you. Hold up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's allude to what you're talking about. Let, pe- let the people know if you haven't heard it. This is uh, uh, Damian Lillard talking about why he took the shot at the end. You've got the ball in your hands that whole last possession. At what point do you decide, I'm, I'm going to shoot from out here or didn't want to drive or whatever? How does that decision come about? I didn't want to put it in the referee's hands, you know, where if there was contact and maybe they get away with contact or I end up having to take a tougher shot because there is, you know, contact and they don't want to decide the game. 
Um, so I was standing there looking at the rim, and I was like, this is a, a comfortable range. Um, my trainer, Phil Beckner, we was working out the other night in OKC, and he was just like, just take a few take a few deep ones, you know, off the dribble. Let's, let's shoot a few deep ones. And he was like, I'm telling you, you're going to hit one of these. He just kept saying, you're going to hit one of these. And um, when I was standing there, I was like, I'm going to shoot it. You know, he was, he was a little bit off of me, and I was like, it's enough space for me to just raise up and shoot it for game. And at the last second, he stepped towards me a little bit, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to pound dribble sidestep and, and raise up. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow. From the trainer. So that's the reasoning mm-hmm. behind the shot and why he wanted to take the shot. Uh, what did you think as he, as he let the shot go, and then what was your emotions when the shot went in? Were you super excited about it? How, how did you react? Jaw-dropping. I wasn't even excited. I was almost, like, dumbfounded, confused, like – it makes you just feel like, holy shit, this guy, this guy, iced through his veins. This guy was just, he was I mean, on a different, different level. Crowd. You know what I mean? And for that shot to go in, I'm just in complete, utter shock. Just as everybody else was in that bar, everybody else that was watching on TV, Russell Westbrook, Paul George. Paul George was defended him as best he could. There was nothing else that Paul George could have done. Paul George, here, well, speaking of Paul George, hear this after the uh, after the game, a little sour grapes here. Listen to him. Yeah, I mean that's a bad, bad shot. Um, I care what anybody says, that's a bad shot. Uh, but hey, he made it. That story won't be told. That it was a bad shot. Um, we live with that. What are you talking about? Bad shot. Yeah. That's to me that isn't. That's a bad take. Well, yeah, Paul was, George. What? I was honestly hearing that he's been practicing this practicing this shot for many times now he's made 12 out of the 18 shots and like this shouldn't necessarily be a surprise like well, that's what his trainer was, was saying yeah, yeah he's been he's been doing it he's yeah. been doing it i don't think i'm not really it sounds like everyone's giving all this praise and oh my gosh what a cl-. to me i was just like i expected him to shoot it yeah. it was the end of the game the guy had nothing to lose yeah. i'm not jumping out of the room saying this is the greatest shot ever this guy hit the most incredible shot in the playoffs i've ever seen right let's be real he hit a shot with no risk. The game is tied. You're There's going no time overtime. left. You're going into OT or you're winning the game. Yeah. Yeah. There's not really a ton of risk there. It wasn't that big of a deal to me. I thought it was amazing it, was it went in. It was just like a major mic drop. But, yeah, I thought, I thought it was great and amazing yeah. it went in. But I'm not, I'm not jumping out of yeah. the room saying that uh, it was the greatest shot ever. But I'm also not on Paul George's side saying it was a bad shot. It wasn't a bad shot. It was a great shot. Right. You have nothing to lose there. Why, how, is that not, how is that a bad shot? And I feel like, I mean, if you're down two and you're double teamed, then it's like, an amazing right. shot. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you're that's, down, oh, yeah. that's what I'm saying. If you're down and you yeah. pull that shot, that's incredible. Or like it's a crazy inbound play to, you know, to where, you, where you had like 1.5 seconds where it's like a, this catch and shoot kind of thing. You know, then then the tables turn a little bit in terms of how monumental it was. But yeah, dude, you've got nothing to lose. It wasn't why risk. Yeah. There's no why, risk why involved. Why don't you yeah. just throw it out? They could have lost the game yeah. and then just won the next game and still moved on. Like, yeah. I yeah. yeah exactly so that's how I kind of feel on it I think everyone's some not everyone I think some people are blowing it a little out of proportion maybe mainly Blazers fans I don't know it just wasn't that like it wasn't that risky that that's all but I, I'm not on Paul George's team either I don't think it was a bad shot right so I thought it was cool did you see the uh, did you see Yusuf Nurkic did you hear about that whole thing that went on I saw uh, something with his T-shirt <clears throat> correct. Well, no. Well, the T-shirt he was wearing was kind of funny. Okay. Um, it just said "Building Bricks," yeah. I think, or something like that, and uh, which is a shot at Russell oh, Westbrook. Ru- yep, because of but, Russell Westbrook struggles. Yep. Sp- it's funny that uh, Nurkic he said he left his house with three minutes left in the third quarter and came down to the arena because he broke his leg earlier this year. Oh, it was a so, brutal yeah, break too. Ser- terrible. So he came down to the game with three minutes left in the third quarter. Shows up in the fourth. Blazers are down. Looks like OKC is going to cruise to a victory. Mm-hmm. And that's the main reason I was watching game seven because I was kind of checking the score on that and it wasn't close. It's like a 10 point game. Right. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing uh, the Blazers kind of coming back a little bit. Didn't really know. And then all of a sudden, I kind of just lost track of it. And there it was. But Yusuf Nurkic showed up. The place exploded. The bench went nuts. Players were super pumped to see him. And it like sparked this comeback, dog. I think that is cooler than the shot yeah. being made at the end. That story, the fact that he left his house, come back with just being like, yo, my team needs me. Sure. I need to come out here. I need to come to the arena yeah. with a broken leg in the middle of the fourth quarter and give my team a spark. That's I just funny. need to come sit on the end of the bench. Like, how sick is that shit? That is. That right there is one of the sickest things. Speaking of uh, this right here. I mean, that's a bad, a bad shot. Um, 
care what anybody says. That's a I don't care shot. what anybody says. You play with Mr. Bad Shot. Are you talking about the guy sitting next to you in the press conference, Paul? Yeah. That's who you should be talking about because that's Mr. Bad Shot. Mr. Big Shot played here in Denver. That's Chauncey Billups. You play with Mr. Bad Shot, Russell Westbrook. That guy is awful. That guy is not one of the elite players in the league. He's not clutch when it comes down to it. He do, he's not a team player. He's selfish. He doesn't listen to the coach. He's bad in the press conferences. He dresses even worse in the press conferences. <laughs> what is good about this guy? Yeah. Somebody tell me what I'm missing here on Russell Westbrook because I wouldn't pay that guy a dollar to come on my team. Yeah, he's got an attitude. So he was averaging 21 points through their series, 36.3% from the field, and 30.4% from the three-point range. He was bricking everything. That is that is that thirty six point three percent is the lowest of his entire career. Yeah, it was it was bad. Anti clutch. It was bad. Anti Mister Clutch. Bad. I mean, that's a bad, bad shot. Um, that's a bad player you play with. That's bud. a bad teammate. Right. That's just jealous. Mister right Bad there. Shot. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Mister Bad Shot? Uh, get that one going. Like it. Um. So that's how I, that's, that kind of sums up how I feel about that game. Uh, then moving into the hockey. Yeah. Let's move into the Dude, hockey. That is nuts. Game seven. So you were, you were able to watch this in addition? I was, yeah. Okay. Yep. So this obviously. Okay, let's just start out. These Both these games have the same exact outcome. One team, from the beginning, it looked like they were going to come out with the wind, and then all of a sudden the, op- the opponent came back and just completely destroyed them. So yeah, so like so going into the third period, correct? Golden Knights yes. had a three zero lead, lead yep. going into the third period, correct? Yep. They scored one in the first, one in the second, or one early in the third. Yep. That's something my girl were watching. We were like, oh, cool. This is a, a coaster. Yeah. You know, we thought Vegas had it wrapped up. I we wasn't thought, really we thought we were gonna go to Vegas, maybe. Yeah. I wasn't really cheering for either team other <laughs> than Kirby I would have liked to go to a watch out. a game in Vegas. <laughs> right. So that's why I wanted to go to Vegas. Obviously, Kirby, you know, he's going for uh the Sharks. The Sharks. Big Sharks fan, if you've seen his Twitter, or uh, follow him on there. So that was kind of how I was feeling. I did. I thought that was pretty much the end of it. I thought we were going to a game in Vegas, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, my girl, she's got uh, her sister's friend. She's got kind of a little hookup with tickets through the Avalanche. Uh, her friends, like good friends, are dating one of the players. So I was like, hey, I know that food I got no going to give tickets to in Vegas. Right. Hit him up. Let's get some tickets going in Vegas. Hit up John Ledger. T-Mobile Arena, CEO. I mean, I got his number in my phone. I was about to start making calls. I'm ready. I'm trying to get Avalanche, t- avalanche tickets and get it cracking. <laughs> totally. So then all of a sudden, I was very confused. There's a face-off deep uh, – what, what is it? In, it was, I think it was in the Golden Knights zone? Yes. I don't remember. Yes. There's a face-off deep in the zone. Pavelski gets checked – cross-checked kind of up high around mm-hmm. the chest around the face area gets cross-checked and he kind of goes backwards a little bit and then paul stasny kind of pushes him off to the side yeah my man team. my yeah. man loses face his balance <laughs> he falls he hits his shoulder and then he hits his head yeah. on the ice starts he lays there motionless for a little a few seconds uh blood starts leaking onto the ice and i'm like oh shit what happened to this guy from the first i'm like oh is this guy all right you know your first concern is like what's going on then I see that they call a five-minute major, and I'm like, okay, let me see the replay. Let me see what happened here. Yeah. I see the replay, and I'm so disappointed. What happened? What are we giving someone a five-minute major for on that play? Because there was blood on the ice? Yeah, I have a feeling that was a main Are we mind. Are we refing the blood, or are we refing the play? What are we doing here, guys? Mm-hmm. That's bad, because look what it led to. Yeah. And I'm not saying I get it. Well, at the, the Sharks still time, had to put four goals in the net in yeah. one period. I get it. It changed the momentum. But it changed everything. It changed the momentum. For sure. Well, there's a reason why Fleury got traded. <laughs> no, that's not Fleury's fault. That's not all on Fleury. Uh, He's playing I'm shorthanded. I'm I'm they're kidding. in the zone I'm the kidding. whole period. Yeah. You're talking about the whole period. This yes, isn't just a little two minutes where they score a goal and they're done. They should have got one goal off that. But like, Let's be real. That should have been a one goal, a one goal power got play. got killed entirely on that team. Like, everything got killed. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. I didn't I didn't know they brought NBA refs into in, in NHL. Uh so I was shocked on that. That was bad. That was really <laughs> yeah. bad. And the fact that they replay so much stuff in hockey and they yeah. could not replay that or they couldn't re- take a look at that is insane to me. You're going to you're going to give someone a 5 minute major. So you just let them rack up four goals all shorthanded while the guys chilling in the box in a f- in 5 minutes? That's insane to me. That's yeah. like that feels like some video game shit. That feels like a cheat code you put in but on Sega. The thing is, at the same back in the time, day. they were... NHL they were, 96. Game Gear. Paul Correa on the cover. <laughs> they were you know who Paul Correa is? No, I have no idea. Who yeah, have is. a seat. 
What now? Um, where's my game gear when I need it? it? Right. Where's the damn game gear? Where's the game genie? Where's the game boy? Game genie. Where's the? Yeah, exactly. I got two. I st- still have no Mario idea. Lemieux's hockey Sega ninety seven. I have no idea. Look it up. Yeah. Oh my god! You know who Mario Lemieux is? No. Okay. Yeah. Peter Forsberg down at the Rio <laughs> had three margs with him. <laughs> then we got kicked out. Don't worry about it. Having margs at, with the at the Berg. Yeah. Or with the, with Berg, the Berg at the Rio. At Been the same there. time, they what? were able to tie the game and go into overtime. That was their chance to take back the game. They were at full strength. And it's just kind of fell I get apart it. from there. I get it. I'm not taking anything away from the Sharks. They still had to put four goals in the net. They still had to win it in overtime. You also I get it. got to realize this team was but, literally created a year ago. Like this is insane that they're go- they're at their second playoffs. Like props well, to them yeah. to even getting this far because most teams that just start out, they ain't winning shit. And last year they went all the way to the championships and almost won. Yeah, they, well, they have to be ecstatic. Yeah. They're they're mad right now, but yeah. let's be real. You have a, a young hockey team who's been in the league two years and made the playoffs two years. One of them was a Stanley Cup final. Yeah. I think they're fine. Sure. Yeah, exactly. I think every I like, think I think they're fine. I yeah. think they're it's like above average. For they're probably 18. pissed right now, and I would be too because if that call's not made but, or if that call's made correctly, if we give them yes, that was cross checking. You give them a cross check two minute minor, not five. You don't give him a five-minute major because the guy fell and lost his balance. If anything, we need to give Joe Joe Pavelski some skating lessons. What do you think that would have changed anything though? Because like, would have changed what would have changed anything? If they gave him a two-minute minor, would have changed everything. The Golden Knights would be going on playing the Colorado Avalanche right now. What do you mean? There's no way that they're going to score two more more goals in that period on an even period. Three more goals to actually three more. The motivation was still killed in the team though. That's the thing. Even though they came back to full strength, they were if that's a two minute if that's a two minute minor. If that's a, JJ, they just had to play five minutes shorthanded. Yeah, how tired are they? They just played five minutes shorthanded. It's yeah. not the they, the penalty killed the momentum in in more ways than just psychologically. The guys out on the ice, you know, like I said, it's four on five for five minutes. Yeah, the goalie's taking shot after shot after shot. I didn't even know what the what the uh, how many shots he took during the period. For just sure. felt like every one of them was going in. Is what I know. It felt like every time the uh, the announcer. They were playing like all the sound bites and all the woo 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 go horn and all the stuff going off. It felt like another goal was going in. Yeah. You know, the guy wasn't even done announcing who scored the last goal, assisted by so and so, and this guy's mom's in the crowd, and this one's over. Yeah. All that shit happened, and then there's another goal, and then there's another goal, and there's another goal. It was like Vegas vacation with Rusty when he put a dollar in the slot machine every time. Yeah. I put a dollar in, I got a car. I put a dollar in, I got a car. I put a dollar in, I got a car. I put a dollar in, I got a car. I had four cars. Yep. Four cars in five minutes. <laughs> I, w- I remember watching yeah. that movie as a kid. I wanted to go right to Vegas. I was like, what? I don't have one car. It's been 10 minutes in here watching this movie. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Anyways. Nick Papa so, Giorgio in the streets. <laughs> so, so real quick, real Nick quick, Papa I Giorgio. want you to read this, Thomas. Okay. Let's see. Oh, shit. NHL 98, Peter Forsberg. NHL 2003, Jerome Ginla. Oh, no. Wait, why does it say 96? No, sorry. I, oh, that's their ratings. Yeah. This is their rating in the game. Mm. Peter, Peter Forsberg has the highest rating on all those covers. Oh, no shit. Covers. <laughs> Dang. Wow, that's crazy. Ovechkin 07 was only a 93. Weak. That's hmm. how we do it in Colorado. Mario Lemieux was a 94 in 02, though. I remember playing with that full time. Yeah, that's pretty up there. <laughs> Damn, dude. This is Some of these names, you forget these guys. Patrick Kane in 2010, he was only 86. Mm. Marty Brodeur, full 83 in 2014. Wow. I don't give the goaltenders any any love here. Eric Lindros, though, in NHL 99, he was a 96. Fresh. That's tight. Sick. But so, yeah, that's how I kind of come out on the game. Not taking anything away from the Sharks. Credit to the Sharks. They did what they had to do to win the game. But if we're being real, and if I'm giving a real opinion, I don't think we get there if that's a two-minute minor. I think one goal scored, maybe the Sharks score another goal and make it 3-2 to kind of make it closer, and then they probably give up a late empty netter and lose the game 4-2. to two. That's probably what happens here. Yeah, I'm kind of on your side. I think 12 that- minutes to go, 10 minutes to go in the game, up 3 nothing. That's probably what happens. Yeah. They get a goal off the power play. It's back to even strength. Five on five, and maybe they get another goal there. They button it up three to two. I think it's as close as they get. Yeah. I just do. I don't. I don't see it. The crowd wasn't into it. No one was super pumped. No one was yelling and waving. The crowd wasn't even really into it after the first goal. They scored the first goal, and everyone was pumped up. But right. it wasn't like everyone really started getting geeked. Yeah, you know, until they they thought they had no chance. <laughs> but it didn't. 
you know. It was like Calgary. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? Abs. What are you going to do? Cry about the penalty? It's, it wasn't called. I just think that it's a little bit insane that you can review so many different things in hockey, but you don't review that. Yeah. It feels like everything gets reviewed. They review all kinds of stuff in hockey. I feel like there's stoppages all the time with shit being reviewed. I'm not Mr. Hockey. Goals. I'm not the hockey expert a here, but I feel like... were reviewed what for it, sure. You can't review penalties? You, when a five-minute major... That's a big difference between a five-minute major and a two-minute yeah. minor for a little cross-checking here. Yeah. Can in baseball, for God's well, sakes. Like, it's it's because the guy fell down and smacked his the head. Play yeah. in a way. I don't. That's what I'm saying. They, they, it was not challengeable. They said maybe just the. Co- I don't know. But we'll see if they react like the NFL. The NFL, they come out and if something happens in a big game like that, they change the rule. Right. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not saying either way is good or bad. I'm just saying we'll see what happens. The NFL because of the. Uh, call or non-call mm-hmm. in the Rams game, Rams-Saints game, they've now changed the pass interference rules. But they're only going to do it for a season, correct? That's a, it's a trial period, yes. It's a yes. trial. It's a yeah. trial period. We'll see. <laughs> but they did it. That's that's the point. Exactly. Yeah. They did something. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I don't know if it's good or bad. Um, but that's kind of – so that's kind of the action that was going there on Tuesday night. Then you had last night Yeah. coming back, another game seven. Goes into OT as well. Goes into double OT. Yeah. Did you guys stay up and watch that last night? I just watched the highlights. And, okay, I, I was watching well, it, and I then saw, I flipped like, over. The aftermath on Twitter, it, it blew me away because I was here with you watching the game. It seemed like the Caps had it in the bag. They were literally shoving it down the Canes' throats. Like the first half, their defense was complete shit. They were, they they didn't have it. And yeah, then I was looking. The Canes were the not Caps, good. Literally, their goalie, they their goalie literally gave them the momentum because what happened was they went up for a shot. The Canes goalie pushed it back out. And then they got the rebound. I didn't see any of the goals. I literally tuned out on the game. We started watching the game here at like 5.45 in the afternoon. The anthem was going. And then the the puck drop. By the time I flipped back over to the game, it is like 9.30, dude, at the crib, almost 10 o'clock. And I got 3-3 tied up in overtime. I'm like, what in the hell is going on? This game's been going on forever. And immediately I'm thinking, these fans have been sitting at that game for a long time. (laughs) Like, that must be... uh, you know, two Dude, periods like, of over. Yeah. You got you have three periods plus two intermissions in the middle there. Then you got another intermission going into overtime. Yeah. You got another intermission going into the second overtime. Those people have been sitting doing some hours how many in those pee, chairs. How many pee breaks is that? No oh, shit, Dude. <laughs> Those people, people are committed. And did you hear? Dude, I don't know if I've heard a quieter building in a long time after that uh, goal went in for in the overtime winner, the second overtime dude, winner what for about the Canes. Calgary, dude. We silenced that. I don't know, building. dude. That that crowd, there was some Avs fans. It felt like in Calgary. I felt a little, there was a little bit of cheering. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe it was my cheering. But, dude, I didn't have a dog in the fight. I was literally just watching the well, game like, in silence. And when the goal went in, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Well, what about the And play? it was nothing. What about when they uh, challenged that goal for, I forgot who shot it, but they challenged the goal. It got denied. And after that, it was just I didn't complete hear it. silence. I, didn't, I missed it. I didn't flip over until double oh, overtime okay. or until overtime. I watched sure. overtime and I watched double overtime. That's all I watched the game other than what I watched. Oh, I'm talking about the game. Oh, and. JJ, you're comparing crowd silences? Yes. Come on. Like, I can remember back to every crowd silence. Let's <laughs> Come not go on, in that. It's not that fucking deep. Jesus. Dude, Anyways, it wasn't even that... F- <laughs> let's move on. Uh, the the um, Golden State game last night. Mm-hmm. Golden State and the Clippers. Yeah. Let's wrap up there with the sports conversation. Do the Clippers have a shot here? I, I, I didn't think so. I, I sure didn't think so. But I watched that game last night. I watched every minute of it. Dude, Montrez Harrell. <laughs> Who is this guy? What do you know about Montrez Oh my God, Harrell. This guy was playing lights out, dude. I he love Harrell. I love Harrell, dude. Wow. I love, dude, that guy. That guy's intense. Did you think he was gonna bring the uh, bring the rim down? Oh yeah, dude. When he the started whole hoop? shaking that oh one, my God. I was like, How oh, did he not shit. get a text for that? Dude, I don't know. He there was nobody underneath him. He was like, clanging he was, and he was banging. He was clanging and banging on that. No thing. doubt. Yeah, dude. That was. I thought for sure. He was taking a tech on that for but sure. No, dude, I, I was really impre- impressed with the Clippers. I was what I was really impressed with was not that they had the big lead, not that they let it dwindle down, but the fact that they held it, the fact that they let it get down to five or six, and then they stepped on the gas again. And you got Sweet Lou, dude. Sweet Lou kept them alive at the end. He was hitting impossible shot after impossible shot. He was drawing fouls left and right, getting to the line. He single handed. Oh, I want to say single handedly because Harold played a big part. Yeah. But I would say. Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell kept that team alive yesterday or last night uh, against Golden State to to uh, win the game and take a um, what is it three to two now? 
So they yeah. they have two games up on them, or yeah. they have two games on them. Uh, Golden State still ahead, leading the series three to two. They're going back to L.A. to Staples for Game Six, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if Golden State can close that one out. What do you think, dude? I, I I feel like the Clippers got a little bit of life. It's like the the buried alive. You know, they're still they're not quite not quite dead yet. You're throwing dirt on them. Everyone's throwing dirt on them, but they're kind of just sitting up like the Undertaker. Right. They're so, not going away. So here, here's what I would say is, yeah, I, I, I don't think they're going to go away, and they're not going to go away easy. But what you got to think about is this was Golden State's second playoff loss right at home Mm -hmm. like are you are you more focused on what the clippers are doing and it was a bad one the first one was bad because you let them come back from 31 uh, up by 31 to beat you this one was bad because you got beat the whole game the whole game they got just dominated the entire game control the whole time um so i'm thinking more about kind of what the what the uh, what the golden state gave up and i think those two big losses at home Dude, that can't that can't happen, dude. Yeah. If, if you're gonna go, if you're a championship caliber team, which they are, right? They're the best team in, in, in basketball uh, yeah. right now, arguably. Um, you can't all have, stars, dude, MVPs. You can't have two home losses no. of that magnitude, and one being a point differential, and the other one just lack of control. They had no control the entire game. Wow. KD's still that dude, and you got to watch out for him. But uh, man, Clippers played complete ball, and I was. I was mesmerized. Beverly was still getting to people's heads. Maybe not as bad as some of the other games. Uh, Lou Williams just manhandled Sweet the end of the game, dude. Sweet Lou. And I was kind of looking at some of his contracts. So he signed a three-year, uh, $24, uh, $24 million contract with L.A., uh, including a $17, uh, $17 million guaranteed, which is an annu- annual average salary of $8 million. So, um, you know, not one of the biggest contracts. I think, dude, I think Clippers got a great deal with Lou. The way he's playing, the way he's manhandling the Well, dude, the game. he was not this player. He kind of, when he first got drafted in the league with oh, the yeah, 76ers, sure. he was not this player. No. Then he went to the Lakers, and he really started to kind of refine his game, and he had spurts. That's where he started to become the sixth man. Yeah, I used to take him on DraftKings yep. a lot Absolutely. because he was so cheap, yeah. and I get such great value out of him night after night after night yep. off the bench. So he, the, did you hear last night they said on the, on the broadcast that he's become the all-time scoring sixth man Yeah, uh, off the bench in Incredible. NBA history? How sick is that, dude? Dude, what a stat! That's that's huge. It's, it almost takes more work to get that right. Like right. just being the sixth man and and not having guaranteed play, like but to be able to be on and that caliber, no doubt, no doubt. That's a whole nother combo. I have a different. Not that I think the Clippers are going to win the series because that's just absurd. Yeah, but dude, I think they might stretch it to a game seven. I I could see them winning this game at home mm-hmm. in Staples and then uh, and then coming back for game seven at Oracle. Not winning it, but okay. coming back for it. Did you see, most of the time, night after night, the Clippers, if they get down, I'm sorry, not the Clippers, Golden State, if they get down, they're going to be able to step on the gas at the end of the game. Sure. Shots are going to go in and they're going to come back and beat yeah. you. It's like they tried to press that gas yeah. and it was like they were out of gas, they dog. And they weren't going down. Did you down. see Steph? Boom, missing. Yeah. Uh, Clay, Clay was missing. Cr- uh, missing. Kevin Durant clanking him off the missing. side. Everyone, dude. All the big guys. The big three. Yep. Clay, Steph, and Kevin Durant could not hit shots last night. When it came down to it in the end, mm-hmm. the final three minutes, none of them were going in. Iguodala wasn't to be found. Yeah. At now, the on the defense, the he was playing good D. He, good D. But, dude, but Lou, was, Lou was just dominant. Lou was he was getting called. Anyone Outside. that was guarding him was getting a foul call. And J- Draymond Green was getting frustrated. You could tell. <laughs> totally. He was frustrating the shit out of that guy. And yeah. I love it, too. I hate Draymond Green. Yeah. I, uh, he will not be with the Lakers or with the uh, – Clippers uh, next year. Next year, nope. Not Clippers, nope. sorry. Golden State. Yeah. He so, will not be there. He'll be out. So, quick fun fact. Yep. Uh, Montrez, his uh, shoe customizer is from Colorado. Oh, no shit? Yeah, she, uh, she's dope. Harold. Look at that Colorado ties. Dang. Shout out to JR coming through with the knowledge. Uh, so, that's all I really got, man. Also, I just want to hit a little bit on the uh, basketball stuff. Go ahead. One thing about the NHL, all the wild cards made it into the second round. Hmm. So the is first that, and second wild cards from the East and West beat beat the teams to get in the second. Is that round. the first time ever? I don't know, but it's really strange to see that happen. How do we know it's really strange? Could have happened last year. Well, the thing is, okay, it's just like normal playoffs. Usually, the bigger teams are supposed to win, and now all the teams who weren't supposed to be right. in the playoffs right. came up. It's not quite March beat. Madness, but it's still impressive. Yeah. You're saying yes. it's not Got as it. chalky. Got it. It's not as oh, chalky. Okay. Yeah, right. Not as chalky. I wonder. You should look that up. You should look that up. 
Uh, yes, I will. Yeah, because when you come with something like that, you want to have some facts behind. You want to have a stat for yeah. us because you're you're throwing out a stat, but yeah, you don't like, have the official. You yeah, don't like have the back end of the when stat. Was the, you know what I mean? When was the year that that something like when this was all, happened? The last time How this happened was ninety six. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like that. So just for the future, hey, we're all getting I'm better over here. Up, I'm looking up right now, so I should. Perfect. Sense. Yes, have it in a sec. Um, do you have anything more on uh, on that stuff? As we, I mean, I would just here? I would just cap off. Uh, I mean, there's not much to talk about with uh, Houston. Um, that was that was a pretty easily won series, um, and then even Oops, when my bad. even when Harden's not at his best, uh, where he went zero for uh, <laughs> zero and fifteen, yeah, dude, that um, was... you know that that team's got a lot of depth, and I would say their bench is probably one of the best in the league, man. Um, so no no surprise there. I, I feel bad for Spidey Mitchell. You know he's he's a stud, man, and and he's still young. He's gonna be there. I dude. think this is just the start of his story and kind of where he goes and where he ends up. So uh, Utah. Got a great, great, great team. The two that I worried about, you know, with the Nuggets, Utah. We don't play Utah very well, and we damn sure don't play Portland very well. Did uh, did it's Utah concerning. make the playoffs last year? What's that? Did Utah make the playoffs last year? I'm trying to remember. Um, I think they. I think they did. I think there's something to be said, and the reason I was just wondering is because looking at hockey, looking at specifically the Avalanche, and mm-hmm. looking at some of the NBA teams, I feel like. Um, there's something to be said. Look at the Nuggets from last year, right? There's something to be said about making the playoffs and getting beaten the first round one year and then coming back the next year and being used to it and being mm-hmm. just having some of that moxie and understanding what it takes and understanding what the games are and what the games mean and the travel schedule and how it all works and the atmosphere, the crowd. I think there's something to be said for all that, whether it's NBA or hockey. There's something to be said for getting beaten the first round one year, then coming back the next year and improving and being better. I don't know if that's uh, the case for Utah. That's why I'm curious. But I know that's definitely the case with the uh, the Nuggets barely missed the playoffs last year. They were in a It was like a play-in game at the very last game. It came down to it. I think we lost to the Timberwolves and just missed the playoffs but now look at this year we're hitting the first round we're still hitting our stride avalanche lost in the first round the past two years they come back this year looking better than they have they take out the number one seed so i think there's something to be said for that yeah uh, going right. in there go ahead what do you got i looked it up so apparently hockey just made history there you go this that's what i'm talking first about time give us some backstory north american pro sports history and that means nhl nba mlb nfl wow that's every dis Every division winner was eliminated in their opening series or game. Wow. So this is the first time ever yes. that all the wild cards yes. have made it in yes. to the second round. Yes. I like it. Hmm. There you go. Stringer. Hell yeah. Stat of the day. There you go. Just busting out some stats. I like it. Yes. Um, let's, bring, let's, bring, uh, let's bring JR in here. Let's move into um, sneakers and fashion or sneakers and supreme we had the supreme drop this morning hopefully you guys got lucky i'm sure we'll see all that action on twitter here in a little bit uh i'll just start with my shit i did not get very lucky uh i did not have good luck with my bot my payment info would not go through but i was able to go back through and cart a uh black the black supreme hat the box logo one with the reflective i forgot what it was called like the uh I forgot the name of it. Anyway, the 3M. Or- yeah, it was called something else. But uh, I cop that hat, and then I was able to cop the black keychain knife, which was way overly priced in my opinion. But oh uh, man, hugely stupid. So that's that's what I was able to cop. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm I, disappointed. I, I'm same thing. I had some payment issues and errors with mine, even though my bank was good to go. I even used a credit card instead of debit card, right? Because usually debit cards you have more issues with uh, when it comes to payment processing. Mm-hmm. Um, because of fraudulent purchases, but, uh, credit card was, uh, was not having it this morning, unfortunately. So, uh, that was with one system. And then I manually just went ahead and copped the, uh, uh, the red Supreme knife. Um, you know, just, just, you know, just for shits and giggles, to be honest with you, just so I get something. Um, everything else, I mean, $54. Yeah. 54 bucks for that is, it seems like a should have been 38 at the most should have been a $38 item. I like at 30, the very at most. 30 is a nice round number. 38 at the very most. The Mike Anderson, that's it. No more. I <laughs> gotcha. For sure. Um, I, I kind of like the, uh, the, what was it, that tote? That tote was pretty cool on the camo. Oh, yeah. But I think I would have bought that to, to sell it. I don't think I would have used that necessarily. Um, the thing hammock. I really wanted was the hammock. Yeah. But at retail at 188, that was just that was just too pricey for me, even as a personal thing. I, I, I didn't want it that much. I love hammocks. I needed it because I wanted to hang it over that area in my loft. Yeah. That way I can just crawl out of my balcony and get in it and hang over that space in my loft. Yeah. Would it, would it have been weird if you and I got on the hammock at the same time and did a review? 
Oh, that would be that'd be super. That'd weird. be a nightmare. I was just joking. <laughs> Getting on that hammock over that area by myself, dude. I'd flip out of that thing and fall a story down and hurt myself. I was just joking. The fact that you even didn't even balk at that, and you were like, yeah, "Yeah, a little bit about me climbing in too." Yeah, I'll climb it too. Let's that's, get a review. That's concerning, Dow. <laughs> Take that L on the way Jesus. out. Jesus. Uh, no, the hammock. Yeah, one hundred eighty-eight dollars for that. That's a little bit too much. Jared, did you guys get lucky on Supreme at all? So, um, I just I got a text. Here, turn the earlier. mic towards him. Or uh, yeah, there you go. Like yeah, there you yep. go. I got a text earlier uh, from one of my employees. He got the uh, he got the black bogo. Oh, uh, the ex- hoodie? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, the t-shirt. The t-shirt, the t-shirt yeah, one. Huh? Uh, extra large. So three ninety eight. Yeah. Wow. I guess his credit card is going through. Mine was getting declined. <laughs> and apparently, the black bogo was the fastest one to go. The black one on the like, in, on like the US side. Sec- it was like five seconds. Because on the UK side, it was it was the gray with the with the heather the, uh, gray. Yeah, yeah, that's what I saw. It Weird. was a black small that went out in five point six seconds. Was it interesting? What did, do you all, so that so he got an extra large mm-hmm. on the T-shirt? Do you know what that's going for right now, resale? Um, I think he sent me a picture. It was like like twelve hundred. It's twelve hundred, and that's yeah. a T-shirt. Yeah. So then those hoodies are probably going damn near what fifteen, fourteen. Yeah. They're they're gonna they're gonna be jumping up, and like he was like, forget the crystals. I want to put diamonds on it, and I was like, don't what? Don't, don't get crazy. Wow. He, no, he's getting crazy. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> but Shit. yeah, he he got that, and then um. He uh, he said he he got some stuff off the restock. Uh, oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. He's 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 hitting. So damn. Yeah. That's what's up. All right. Here's what, here's the real question. Forget all the shit today. We need the Hot Wheels car. We are under the impression that a gentleman that works at your store has the car. We have some ideas for this car. Some content we're trying to put on the gram. Yeah. And we can't get the car. And I ain't got two and a half weeks to wait for StockX to get the car. Especially if we can get the car today. From the gentleman that works with you. So update me and let me know what information I have correct here on the car. Do you have the car? Do you work with a gentleman that has the car? I work with a gentleman that has the car. Oh, all right. First, first gotta, one down. You got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. First one down. Is the gentleman willing to part with the car? Is he trying to sell the car? Does he already have it up at your store? Is he keeping it in his collection? What's the deal? He wants to keep the car. No, he doesn't. Does he really? Yeah, he said so. So I looked at his Facebook and because uh, I thought he was bullshitting about this. Yeah, but that car is his dream car. Oh man! But hmm. there's a but. Okay. Um. So this guy found JJ, his uh, anti-social stuff that he. Wanted. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. All right. He said that he is committed to finding you guys the car in town today. No shit. Yeah. He's not going to find that thing in town today. He's, he said you he's said he, doing everything he can. What's my man's name here? Leo. Believe it. Leo. He will make it happen. Leo Rush. Leo. Leo Rush. Leo. Leo his name is, uh, his last name is Bud. Leo Buds. Leo Buds. <laughs> <laughs> Leo Buds. Uh, all right. So, J- JR. Dude, that so would you, be incredible. So you know this guy pretty well. Yeah. What do you think? Th- it, what are the chances Stringstein here? Stringstein over here says uh, likely it's pretty good. What is the likelihood <laughs> that we can have this car today and create some sick content and be able to upload it today? What do you think? Pretty likely. I mean, we both got the days off. My lady's yeah, laid up at the crib, sick as hell. We got nothing to yeah. do. We need. We got content yeah. to create today. I've got. I've got. To, uh, I've got to be in an I- IKEA appointment for cabinets for an hour, but that's it. Other than that, that's it. And we, okay, we might be able to create some content inside IKEA with yeah. the car. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's definitely he's texting me like back to back. Hey. I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm trying my best to get it, and, uh, you know, we're, pu- we're putting the pressure on him. I like so, it. So does he, well, because here's another thing that we could do with Leo. So he wants to keep the car in the package or no? Uh, I don't know. Because we could give him the car back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to use the car. Yeah, we just want to use the car. You know, I'm just saying, we can give his dream car back. And we'll, we'll keep it in pretty good condition. Pretty good condition. <laughs> pretty good condition. <laughs> so. I would say definitely Vin's. Vince, Vince, yeah, okay. for sure. Vince, for sure. Like, Vince. No, like no, the wheels are still. Oh know. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. We're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna air Drift. white back this and shoot it with our ARs. Okay. <laughs> did you hear that video of Eric Whiteback? Did you hear yeah. that on the last cast? Yeah. Or did you see that video? Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. This this last one, he was shooting his box logo because obviously the new Swarovski yeah. uh, just came out. So he's like, well, I don't need my old box logos anymore. So he's capping his old box logo hoodies with ARs and shotties. People, okay. are, people are crazy. They are. People man. with money are crazy. Here's the third option. Here's a third option, and this is a. Uh, Maybe this is just just throwing it out there. Doubt. If we, how about this option? If he can't find it, let's say he can't find it here within a few hours when we're done with the cast here. 
if he can't find that after your cabinet appointment, we're ready to go mm-hmm. shoot some content. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't know if that, well, I was, okay. I was here. I was going to say, we would just, we could just get the car from him. We'll buy him one right now on StockX, and we'll just, we're going to end up paying the full resale price for it, hmm. but we would have our car today and he would be having one coming in hmm. to replace his car. Still hmm. brand new in the package. What, what is that? What about that? What do you think about that, JR? Let me text him. I think, wait, no, no. Don't text him yet because I think that's a last resort. Yeah. Okay. I, cause, no, no Papa Roach? Yeah, because if he can, yes, no Papa Roach. Okay. Because if he can find it today, then that's, that's the key thing. If he can find us someone else's, that's best. Yeah. We'll just buy someone else's. We'll pick it up. Fine. Yeah. Second best is if he doesn't want to keep it in the package. I think that's second best. Yeah. Because then we're not having to come out of pocket. We don't give a shit about the car later on. We yeah. just need to use it for content. Yeah. Right? Third best is third is the last resort. It's not really best, but it's how we could make it happen. But we're willing to do it, is right. what we're saying. We're sure. willing to, to spend content. the hundred to buy the car on StockX, get his car today, replace his car. That's that's a last resort. Yeah, Papa Roach. Damn it, why didn't I have that cute? I think we're pretty nice guys. Sounds like we're pretty nice guys. Yeah. You know, because I don't know if I'd give my car to two weird guys and then get my car back and see what condition that see is. See if it's scraped I don't up. know if I trust the Honestly, most underrated. Well, the, the <laughs> second option, I am a little scared because our we are creating content with the car. I mean, the thing, which is obviously going to involve a Hot Wheels track. If it flips off the track and scrapes the side up, I don't know what to say. The guy, you know, it came around turn four a little hot and spun out. Yeah. Well, what? aren't you guys trying to jump it? <laughs> Over some like Jordan boxes, we're hey, doing some jumping. Yeah, hey, well, you need a test car to be like just kind of perfect it to the point where you guys. Well, they're not all the same weight, up. guy. I know that's you have to buy thing. another BMW M3. Yeah, hey, he might lose. You have it. to do your best to find the exact worst same. case scenario. He might lose an S on the side of the car. <laughs> it might end up being Upreem. Right. And it's still fire. That would be a serious that wreck. Is, <laughs> be, dude, you're just throwing that through the wall. We, that, are we jumping this thing off the parking garage downtown? What do you mean losing an S? You might lose an S. No, I think we're going parking garage to parking garage that's over what, Market Street. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to go from the tavern over to Lodos. Okay. Right over Market. Nice. That's what I, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, gotcha. With, and then film it with the drone. Yeah. So the drone's going to capture it. JJ, you're involved in shooting this content. There's a lot going on here. There's but a lot. It's, but it's going to be sweet. Do you want to be able to do this full time or not? Then yeah. we got to put in the effort. I got a podcast to edit tonight. Uh, that's true. All right. Well, <laughs> JJ, are you willing to lose one J out of your full name? Because Why? because we're willing to lose an S <laughs> on this sick ass. We are willing. I don't know if I don't know if Leo yeah, Leo Buds yeah. is willing. <laughs> Leo Buds. Leo Buds. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, so all right. Let let me know. We'll we'll keep you updated on that. Yeah. If we can get the Supreme car. Um, but as far as the drop today, that's kind of the stuff we were interested in, what we were going after. You end up getting the red knife. I did. I and what else? Uh, I got the red knife, and that's where oh, that's I stopped. It. Okay. Yeah. So nothing else. All right. Yeah. The hammock, what uh, What would you pay for the hammock top dollar? 150 Damn. So That's you, why I didn't buy under it under retail. retail. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I didn't even try, because I need it under retail. It will not probably get there. It will not. I don't foresee that, but that's that was my what I'm willing to pay. What are you willing to trade if someone comes to the sneaker con this weekend for the, with the Supreme Hammock? You know what? I would trade my hoodie. I would trade that Supreme hoodie, the color, the color blocked hoodie. I would trade that. Maybe, I, and that would be a fair trade for everybody involved. Dude, maybe bring it. I'm bringing it. Maybe bring it if somebody's got the Supreme Hammock yeah, out there. I've wore it once. That's I'll even good. get it dry clean. I'll pay you. You know what? We'll take 10 bucks off or whatever it is. For you to get so, it dry cleaned. For to get it dry cleaned. I think that's well, a great. Hit me up. Look at the that. The hammock, by the looks of it, is the highest bid is 232 Oh, that's early. I know. It's early, Oh, the highest obviously. bid? Highest yeah. bid. Wow, someone yes. has that in bid? Wow. Yeah. Hmm. That hammock was wanted. Two, what color is that for? Uh, that's red. For the red one. 243 is the highest or lowest ask. But yeah. I want the red or the black. I don't really care for the camo one. I, really? I, Not the camo one? I'd rather the red or the black. I I I I want the red. And I feel then like I, that the, would be the most expensive one. Camo? Yeah. Camo depends that new, on what people like. It depends what the new colors are. You know, with the ice color that just yeah, came yeah. out a while back, the camo yeah, now. Exactly. That's usually what's hot. But for me, it'd be red, camo, black. So mm. if I can get the red or camo as a trade, I'd be open. All right. Let's get back to the convo we started earlier. Uh oh. The Sean Weatherspoon. The cliffhanger? Yes, the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger. Gotcha. Go, uh, <laughs> let's see what you got here. Okay. Let's, let's, so, what was your question again? Just so the so audience, get, cash, if, if they're getting back. Cash, I think. Yeah. So, so Sean, Sean's. Yeah. Cash. 
Sean's cash my spin by so, now. So so mine are the uh, size nine Sean uh, with the spoons. They're they are the they're not the pre ones that have all the accessories, dust bag that shit. Mm-hmm. So they're just the regular one. Uh, just the extra laces. Yep, from bait. Um, you know, dead stock, extra laces, cash. I almost want to do a trade more, but if if somebody offered me, if somebody offered me eleven, I'd probably do it. Eleven. It'd have to be more than a thousand. I don't know because right now, off of most platforms, especially Goat, right now I can make uh, even with the fees. Uh, I'm still right at about ten fifty. Hmm. So I brought something. Yep. Oh, I do see those. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I'm, wow. I'm, I'm interested to see what Where'd size you get those, those are. Where did you just grab those from? The trunk. Wow. Pop the trunk on these fools. Pop the trunk. I'm a homeless dude walking down the street. No shit. Where did those come from? Did you get those at the Ark? Right around the corner? Wow. Open those up real quick, please. Let me see what's going on here. Wow. There's some Sean's. Are these DS? DS. Size 11. Size 11 size DS. 11. What are we talking now, Dallas? What do you need? What size do you need? Not 11. What do you need? They run too big. I oh, need, yeah, because they're, they're big. I need, they're long. Uh, I need a size 10 in those. like Hard bad. 10. Like a hard 10. I yeah. could even do, because they run long, I could even probably do a 9.5. There is no way I could do the 9 that yeah. I have, but that size 9 is the best trade bait that is, I mean, that's, that's that size. You know, right. you talk about that dude, that's that size. I'm, I'm, I was just glad that you said it because I had it in the trunk. Um, these are, these are going to sell today. Oh, good. These, yeah, these are gonna. Sell you got something worked out already? Um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but but I can I can sell them. Yeah. So uh, these are these are fire, man. Yeah. I I love this shoe, and as a collector, I want to hold on to it so bad. But let me tell you what I want trade bait. I I dude, I went through all these shoes. I went through all these different emotions as to what I would take and what I want. So I want all size tens. I want the walk the dogs. I want the Nigel Sylvester ones. I want the uh, the new air raids, uh, the fear of gods that come out, and what was the fourth one that puts me right at about that eleven hundred? There was one other one. Hold on, let me think. Nigel's, the Mars Stompers. <laughs> <laughs> that that would put me right in there. No, it was it wasn't a GR, but it was something you know, pretty pretty basic. I can't remember what it was now, but those are kind of the three that I have. You know, my big focus wrapped around right now. And then, uh, you know, a fourth shoe as an alternate. And that puts me right between that 1050, 1080 range. And I think I think I would do that in a heartbeat. For sure. If you, get, if you get the 10, are you wearing those, Dow? The size 10? Or what are you doing? Are you getting your size just to get your size here? Um, I think, yeah, if somebody wanted to trade me for my size, I, you know, I, I, I might do it. But I think I'm more interested in, in parting with this. I think I'd love, as a collector, I'd love to have it. But if I got my size, it'd be hard for me not to wear it. So I, I'd, I'd fuck it up and I'd wear it. Uh, <laughs> so, you, so you don't even want your size then? Dude, these things are only going to go up more. Right. Dude, these, these mm-hmm. things may, by the end of the year, these may cap out at 15 16 so and the thing is, is there's so a lot of people saying 2k yeah. we, we I mean, had a, good so we had them in the store we had the, that pair in the store in the machine yeah and um we have a, a strict policy that no employee at the re-up can win out of the key master wow because That's crazy. it's like a conflict of interest like like they can win it's it's you know it's not like it's not a good again, look though but exactly yeah. like if a, an employee wins it's like oh well shit's rigged, rigged. Yeah. right right so he won that pair um, I actually uploaded the video on, on our Instagram page of him winning. And I'm like sitting on the couch doing inventory. Yeah. And and he's like, I won, I won, let's go, I won. And like you could see in the video, I don't even flinch when he wins. Because I told him right before he started putting money in, don't play that machine. Oh, because damn. you can't win. And this guy, the guy, one of the guys behind him went to go get change, uh-huh. came back, and he was playing. He hits it. This dude oh, already put shit. like sixty bucks into the machine. No doubt. Yeah, and and the dude was like, "I I want you to fire this kid." Wow. He's like, "I can't believe he he just did that." And and I was like, "I told you not to do that," you know. So wow. the guy, fair sport. He uh he wants to buy him. Does uh, he? We're negotiating right now, but um if not, he's he's coming to sneaker con. So you know we'll see what's up. But mm. damn. But yeah, so we had these in the store. Uh, for seven fifty. Wow. Like we don't change our prices. That's like, a great price. That's, yeah, we're not dude, changing you our can't prices. Beat that. Yeah, Do like you, we're not changing our. And prices. this fool's trying to negotiate on that. 
uh well no he he, he, he just was to, he, he was just he was like are you gonna you know do you still have the shoes mm. you got them all right cool let's meet up just time you know he he works so gotcha yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, that fool needs to comfort. take that and run but yeah. so i i follow round two obviously very close mm-hmm. round two has a huge connection to these shoes mm-hmm. we all know the story behind that uh that being said round two dead stock on these depending on size do they're upwards of 12 12 yeah. 50 yeah you know, is what they're selling these for at round two already. And, you know, consignment shops, you look at Urban Necessities, most of those shops, because it's 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 their it's their consumers putting yeah. the prices yeah. on these, right? <clears throat> you know, they just facilitate that. But uh I'm I'm telling you, man, twelve hundred, these may cap out fifteen to two grand by the end of the year. Just and, kinda depends on what and, happens. And seeing the thing is is um so back to what we were talking about last time about I don't have a consignment percentage. Um, the the guy that consigned these shoes, he only wants five hundred. Damn. No doubt. So I mean, wow. I could easily like go. I could easily go crazy and be yeah. like, oh yeah, let's let's put it at nine to a thousand. Sure. And then make all kinds of money. But the thing is, is I set that price. Right. We're sticking to our guns and seven fifty. The dude wants them. He get them. Dope. That's a dope price. Yeah. Hell yeah. You That's can't beat that. Ridiculous man. price. Way to hook up the the local community. Definitely. Right, bam. I like that. Good shots yeah. for that fool. Hell yeah. Um, okay, as far as... All right, so now we got that worked out. You know what you're looking for. Yeah. Sneaker con this weekend. Weather spoons, all that stuff. Um, what do we... What do, we uh, do we want to take a look at some shoes first, or do you want to go into... Uh, what's... What are you looking forward to, release wise, or more? Yeah, let's products? let's talk about kind of what we're what we're looking oh, forward to here. Also, all speaking right. of Supreme, if we're still on it, yeah. Um, there was a leak from Pirates that says the Ni- Nike and Supreme is releasing an Air Max fifty or no, not fifty. 95, 50, 95 Lux collab fifty nine with Savorsky. So these really? will be a Lux pair that will be retailing for five hundred dollars. There's going to be a black, a red, and a royal blue color, and hmm. they'll be releasing in June. So if you guys want to hmm. take a look, well, I'll speak for franchise. Worst, I'll, yeah. I'll speak for franchise when he's looking looking at these. So number one, he hates the ninety five <laughs> model. He thinks that shit looks like a hiking shoe <laughs> that maybe you know like uh, a sketcher. That maybe like a, <laughs> I, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is correct or not to say, but like, like like a butch lady would wear. Yeah. How about that? Is that is that a nice way to say it? Uh, nice. you, might, yeah. you might get some flack. Maybe you might get a little flack for it's that. All right, right? you got a mullet. You're fine. Yeah, all you're right. fine. Right on. Um, but so yeah, franchise is out on that. But the problem with this, if it has that Swarovski, so it's gonna look a lot like that. Uh, wait, the a 90- wait, 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 yeah, yeah. Is it Savorsky? Savorsky. Savorsky. Sarvoski. Sar- Sar- now I'm confused. Swarovski. Swarovski. Swarov. I've always said Savorsky or Savorsky. Ooh, Savorsky. Savorsky good. crystals. Mm. Savorsky crystals. It sounds That's what I've like, said. It, this is like my last name. No no one can pronounce it correctly. It's Did insane. Swarovski? No, it's Kinzior. And originally it was Kinzador. Kinzorski. Kinzorski. Oh. That's right. Kinzorski. What are you doing? A little Polish humor here? <laughs> a little Polish humor? Okay. Kinzorski. Anyways. Uh, Savorsky, Kinzorsky, Nunorsky, Swarovski, or, or is it Swarovski? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I have really have no idea. I don't think you say the V. What do you guys think in the comments? We're gonna have yeah. fifty different things that's in the, the comments. That's the biggest. Like, that's yeah. the biggest. Like, because even when I went in Vegas, I stopped by the store and I'm like, I don't even know how to par- pronounce this. And three employees actually pronounce it three different, different ways. oh wow right. oh so. geez at the store you don't think they but, have but they don't they don't say the v like well, but it's sense. like it's it's weird they have like, to on the training videos on the new higher training videos they got to teach you how to pronounce that shit i think that's rule number one to the it eye like, it looks Swar- like swarovski swarovski i got swarovski i got swarovski and then the the other person like pronounced that v like very mm. faint huh interesting so yeah, in the comments, if you guys, what do you, what do you, what's your take on it? What do you think it is? And what somebody who knows, if somebody's got a background, like oh yeah, I used to work in uh, whatever. But the bigger question <laughs> I feel like is, are these just gonna be five hundred dollar bricks? Oh yeah, dude. I mean, look at the uh, look at the last Air Maxes they just yeah. dropped. Those things, even have, though they had the crystals though. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, those ninety sevens. I, I wouldn't say they were bricks, because but I think they, they were for women, weren't they? The Swarovski, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Swarovski. <laughs> <laughs> no, those those Air Max Gold 97s, yeah, I think those were a women's colorway. They have black, silver, and gold. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't think I want to bling like this. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's not for me. Plus, the 95 is a hiking boot, so I find a hiking boot with crystals really weird. Yeah, well, hiking crystals. Hiking and then, crystals. Well, even like uh, the Jordan Eris, they did the the stingray ones. They have like little glitter, and mm. they they were going for that look. Mm. And and those like, those bricked hard. Yeah. They they went down to like like 120. Oh shit. And the, and the retail was 220. Oh, like yeah. it was insane. wow. So That's it's crazy. it's always a hit or miss when you do big stuff like that. Yeah, no doubt. Hmm. Well, I'm out. Thanks, yeah, JJ. I'm out, I'm but out I, too. but I look forward to uh, I look forward to seeing what those do. Yeah, I'm out on those. <laughs> Super uh, out. So this week, uh, kind of a heavy sneaker week, kind of not depending on where your head's at. Before we look at uh, a pair of shoes that I think we have, um, Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, his shoe that uh, obviously was airdropped at Coachella uh, that does have a release date of is that today? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, so his collab is releasing uh, the 26th, so tomorrow. So he has uh, three different models that he has his name on. One is called, obviously, the Continental 80. The one that everybody saw uh, at uh, Coachella was the, do you say it, Niza? Is that how you say it? Mm-hmm. Niza? Niza? Niza. N-I-Z-Z-A. That's the one that everybody saw. And then you also have uh, an older silhouette called the Lacombe. That is also coming out. So any of those kind of strike your fancy, or have you seen any of them is what I would say. Seen them. Uh, not really, not really not a really fan feeling. of any of them. They're no. too basic, man. I think, I think they fit kind of Gambino and kind of what he's doing with the whole dad bod and eh, I don't know, man. I, it's a great summer shoe, I guess. But for me, like we talked about last cast, I would rather have a Vans, just a pair of Vans. Right, right. Instead of any of these three. That's no just me. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of out on all those. Uh, you do have a lot of Captain America stuff, uh, coming out with Adidas and I think these are the worst silhouettes and they're the worst done uh, of these silhouettes. So I agree. You have the uh, Captain America's, you have the Captain Marvel's. Uh, they're using that. Uh, I don't even know what they it is. They just look like a little kid shoe to me. Yeah, it looks like, like a little kid Spider Man shoe, like mm-hmm. something you'd put on your four year old. You know what I mean? Like Or har- or Harden shoes. The Captain Marvel looks like a Harden, kind of. Right. You know, that he's wearing right now, his signature. It just looks like it should have a big Spider-Man on the front of it, like with the web going out. Like yeah. it should have, like just looks like a kid shoe, dog. What to do me. You know, what do you know about the new Yeezy Boost 700 analog that looks identical to the Salt? That looks identical to the, all the other colorways. Still out. Almost. Still out. Yeah. Those are going under retail, and they're not even out yet. What not you, good. Yeah. Below not good. Below not good. Yeah. Those, <laughs> yeah. Are, those are bad. Jr. Are you in on those? No, man. I so you're out. I can't. I just can't do it. Yeah. I just can't. I think one of my shoes. employees, he has like the geodes and he has. All I love them. the inertias, but yeah. that's it, dude. I like, like the geodes. I'm I, gonna, just, I just. That was the other shoe. The geodes. The other shoe that I that oh, I would that do the trade. Wanted? The four way trade puts me at eleven hundred. Those four shoes. Yeah. The geode was the other one. Okay, so you want for your size nine Sean Witherspoons. We're talking the geodes. Yep. We're talking the Nigel Sylvester's. Yep. We're talking the walk the dogs. Yep. Dunks and then what else? Geodes, Walk the Dog, Nigel. Oh, and the Fear God, uh, the Air Raids. The oh, the Air Raids. Okay. Okay. Quick question, though. How are Quick you... answer. <laughs> how are... <laughs> uh, John Denver's full of I walked into that one. Um, how are you going to find someone who's willing to trade that many pairs and who's going to have all those pairs to begin with? It's hard telling, man. At SneakerCon, they're expecting fifteen to 20,000 people walking through there. So Still, though. I feel like my average is pretty good. I, especially, I, dude, especially how wanted is Sean, dude, you don't, yeah. the, the, the air raids actually drop that day. So, you know, you're going to have these big, you know, these big dogs at sneaker con that have already had them for two weeks. So those are going to be fairly easy to get the Nigel Sylvester's, uh, those have gone way up in price. They're damn near 400 bucks mm-hmm. now in, in, in that, in that size. Now, yeah. in bigger sizes, they're a little bit cheaper, but, um, but a Nigel Sylvester, very common, very hyped, should be easy to find. The air raids, especially since they dropped that day, um, you'll probably... Well, I'm more talking about finding it with one person, though. I think it's easy to go to those booths. You've been to a sneaker con. Yeah. Why couldn't you walk up to one booth and say, look, dog, I got these dead stock. I want that, 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 that. What do you think? Somewhere like some yeah. like the reups booth. Yeah. You know, they got 295 pairs. Yeah. Dude, not all these guys are... Why are you being co- so small-minded, yeah, JJ? Not, Why are you I, being so negative? Why are you being so pessimistic about it? You're never going to find yeah. someone has got all four of those Okay, pairs. check it out. So, come on, if man. If you had his shoes, what would you trade for? Yeah. I would even trade. I would just take the cash and then just go buy the shoes I want. 
mean, that's a, that's an idea. Money. But if some, but I don't think anybody's going to necessarily want to pay eleven hundred. I mean, if it, he's I, just giving him another option, yeah. someone doesn't want to right. come to the table with cash. Yeah. Hey, this is an option. Oh, you got these? I'll take these. This yeah. is what I'm looking for. He's just saying no. this is what he's looking for. Yeah. Now, he's not necessarily thinking he's going to find it. Sure. Just this is what is in my mind. Yeah. So what, what we'll do? I'll take. There's nothing uh, worse. There's nothing. Sorry, Jr. Yeah, I'm going to step good. on you. But there's oh, nothing good. worse than a man that ready to trade the sneaker, and then you say, "All right, what are you looking to get?" And they say, "Hmm." Yeah. Oh no! At least the motherfucker knows what he wants to I get. Like, that's, ready. How annoying is that shit? Yeah. People are like, "Oh yeah, well, what are you looking to get out of him?" You ask him the price. They put a picture so up of a shoe on say. Twitter. What are you looking to sell it for? Yeah. Oh no, make yeah. an offer. Yeah. I'm about to slap you. Get that. Get Dude, out of my face. That's what, that's what that's what two J's. <laughs> like, it's kits. your shoe. Two J goes to every booth and says, "What do you want? Give me a price." Yep. And they're like, "Well, no, no, no." He's like, "I'll be back. See you in a bit. Give me a price." Right. I hate that. Like you should know. You should know what you uh, want. You know what? If somebody wants to buy my whole fucking booth. An hour into it, I'm out. Right. By my booth, I'm out. Right. Let Especially me, if you've got, got the shoe. If you've got the shoe at sneaker con. Now I get it. If someone yeah. walks into your house and yeah. you're like, hey, what do you want for that? And you don't fucking know. I get it. You're not planning different. on yeah. selling it. But at sneaker con, oh, you took the shoe there for a reason. I wore it a couple times. Right. And, yeah. Right. Uh, it's just like you there, got the shoe at the show. There is always so a price. I'm, I'm ready for JC um, to 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 buy off. We tried to get him on the show today. I uh, yeah. I hit him up and just through Instagram DM, I was like, yo, yeah. do you want to come on the show? And just kind of, you know, hey, you know, we've talked a few times before. I wouldn't say we're like boys or anything, but I know he's he's boys with Teddy. Mm-hmm. And so I've talked to JC a few different times. Just wanted to him to come on the show for 10 minutes a day, maybe just call in. And he said his schedule was crammed and he yeah. sent me an email address. So I didn't know what that yeah, meant. Yeah, so, so with that, um, what he's, so what he does is he usually like, it's it's just like, yo, hit the email address. We can set something up. Mm-hmm. Um, so I text him. Um mm-hmm about it and he was like i told him i was like well what time do you get in denver and uh and he was like i get i get there to this is yesterday he's like i get there tomorrow night um he's like just a heads up we're gonna be busy with family stuff and and i told him i was like not a big deal um stop by the shop we got a you know i'm i'm linked up with the podcast if we can do something with that let me know and he he was like as far as the phone call, I'm gonna be super busy trying yeah, yeah, to yeah. figure things That's, out. Right. He's like, but um, but you know, I'll hit you up once I land. So, and if I we're mean, gonna get him on Saturday, like if he has time to sit down, cool. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna be able to get for sure on Saturday. I'm hoping that we can have a few different cats sit down with us. We're able to get three or four, five dope interviews. Yeah. Chop them up, put them all together, and create a dope episode for you yeah. guys. That's my goal at SneakerCon. I want to try to get some vlog footage. I want to try to get some footage of what me and Dal are copying, us meet and greets with people, talking to people, chopping it up. I want to get make sure we do that, and then I want to get some interviews done. That's so, my goal so maybe, for SneakerCon. Maybe what I'll do at SneakerCon is um, I'll because he's going to come to the table. Yeah. Like, um, we're getting there pretty early with the shoes. So And if, I'm not trying to keep anyone more. I mean, 20 yeah, is the max. I'm trying yeah. to do 10, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And you so, know, so what I'll try to do is like, because I already have a price for him. Oh, like, okay. We gotcha. already have it set up. So um, basically what I'll do is I'll be like, yo, you know, sit down with the podcast, you know, kill some time or whatever, and then I'll get you a price. We already have the price. But, Dope. You know, yeah, we'll, and then we'll you should come over, give the price on the show, so we can use it for the content. Yeah, I like it. I definitely. like that. I don't like what we're having this convo on the air. Yeah, <laughs> giving up the secret sauce, but I like it. Yeah. I like it. We're gonna get it. Don't mess with our it. sauce. Uh, one other shoe uh, before we uh, before we kind of uh, move on a little bit. Um, the fear of gods yes. that I was just talking about, right? The the raids. Um, I the love raids, this shoe bro. because the air raids were one of my favorite shoes. I actually was coming up at that time. Um, you know, going from those to the Bo Jackson trainers, like the Andre Agassi's playing in tennis like I did so that's just kind of a staple for me so those straps kill it for a lot of people I get it but that just that takes me to a, a to a happy place so <laughs> I don't have any fear of gods uh in terms of these uh, uh these new Nike anything with the Nike collab I had the uh I had the Skylon 2s right yeah uh, which were cool they weren't that comfy got rid of them um uh, but these I, I want to try them out and I think I think I'm I'm willing to cop on these however these moccasins I gotta have those I think Dude, I gotta have the moccasins. I might try to get them. No, I'm kidding. You had enough. I'm either. not lying. I might try to get them. Let me see him closer. I might try to get them, man. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a huge advocate of it, but uh, in the price point of, I think 175 for the moccasins and 190 for the uh, the air, uh, for the raids. I would take either one, but I, I want the raids because of the childhood memories. Uh, I've I've copped shoes like that in the past, and I just know they would sit in yeah. my collection. Yeah. I just know I wouldn't wear them, dude. Same thing with uh, you don't like the ponytail on the moccasins. 
No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you don't like the ponytail? <laughs> I hate the ponytail. Right. Actually, now that you called it that, I hate it so Dude. much. The ponytail. Hey, the ponytail. You know what? You know why I like the rat tail. <laughs> that's, that's hey, the, Billy Billy Ray Cyrus would wear these. Yeah, he would. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep, those are terrible. Woo. Gosh, those are awful. I couldn't do it. All right. I just know they would sit in my collection, similar to the bread three twelves. Yeah, or the. Uh, yeah, the Bread 312 Lows. Interesting that you bring that up. You had a story for me on the Bread 312s. Well, I got rid of them. You did? Already. They're gone. I, I couldn't do it, dude. I, I put them on. My, I put them on. I hype beast laced them. Okay. I liked the way they looked with jeans or joggers. They actually looked pretty cool. Okay. But the, I told you the right shoe was hurting my, not my toes, but like where your foot creases. You didn't tell me It was me like that. digging in on the right shoe. Oh, I thought I told you that. You didn't so tell me So it was that. digging in on the right side. The left side felt okay, but the right side felt increasingly tight. And my right foot is bigger than my left. I thought I talked about sure. this. What Maybe shoe not. was this? Those uh, Bread 312 Lows, those legacy... Oh, yeah, 312 you, lows. You, you talked about that on the, the podcast about the How it was just tighter, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Did you? Uh, yeah, it's just you not paying attention. You got rid, you got rid of them? So, I uh dude, not only did I get rid of them. Okay. I just straight returned them to the Nike store at the Colorado Mills Mall. Did that's you? That's how out I was on those. Damn. Yep. You just, don't want to pay no processing fees, just, no return just fees. Just took them back. Get them out of here. Took them back to the store. Wow. Exchanged them and got a bunch of gear. Did you? Yeah, I got a tech got, fleece. Got sure. a bunch of gear. I got uh, that Mile High basketball shirt I was rocking the other day. Oh, Nike. Yeah. Got that there. Got a pair of Nuggets. Uh, another pair of Nuggets shorts. Got a couple pairs of sweats, joggers. Just yeah, just uh, my girl got some shit. You just, were way out. You got the and I still got after I got all that. I still got money back. Huh, yeah, you, I know. I was like, you dude. have to re get that pair. Why? What do you mean? You need them? No. So uh, someone needs them. No, you need them. I don't um, need them. You, you were talking about the laces. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 that was another thing. Sorry. The, what really made me out on them, I put them on with shorts. I put them on with my Chicago Bulls shorts because yeah. I was going to wear them that day. Sure. And they just looked bad. They, they, they looked did? bad with shorts. I just didn't. Because the way I had them hype beast laced, I had the tongue bigger. Mm-hmm. With shorts, they looked so bad. So I even tried to like strap them mm-hmm. down, and I was just like, all right, if I have to do this much work to like the shoe, I'm never going to wear the shoe. Yeah. And I knew in my mind, I was just like, if it's not easy, no, it's, you're out. I'm out. You I'm out. Be. I just yeah. have too many pairs of shoes. Yeah. There's you, way too many pairs of shoes the, I love to wear. Are you getting the other ones that are coming out? Yes. That okay. is another reason. Those black cement joints, dude, yeah. got to have them. That's yeah. another reason I had to, I had to get rid of those. Cause I was like, man, I'm just never going to wear this pair. Huh. I like the other pair more that's coming out. They got the Nike Air on the back. They have all the shit. I told you, I didn't. I wanted the tongue to be gray. There were certain things I already didn't like. Yeah. And the fact that I put them on feet, they were kind of hurting. And then the fact that I put them on feet and I hated the way they looked with shorts. And I felt like I had to re, uh, I had to lace them a certain way to look good with shorts and then a different way to look good with pants. Yeah. All the, the combination of all that just had me dropping them off at the store easter sunday wow went and did my stuff with the fam went to dave and buster's my girl caught the cold there didn't know she was sick until a couple of days ago now she's deathly ill oh dave and buster's is a is a is a cesspool oh, of, dude. Of, of nastiness yep. yep i don't know how i'm chilling here i don't know maybe i'm gonna catch it at sneaker con yeah people maybe picking sick people picking con. their butts and and their nose and or oh. maybe i just got that mu- a strong immune system yeah, uh, yeah you know what i mean that yeah. maybe that immune system it's, just- it's that stone cold in you it is. Well, the question now then is if you're getting those, the, the ones with the Nike Air on the back uh, that come out here, uh, I think fall, mm-hmm. maybe end of summer yeah, fall a while. is what they're slated. Are you going half up then? What, how how yeah, do I was going to say, are no, you going to do like one No, shoe? because the left shoe fit good. I think it was, it might have been just that pair. So you, you know, it might have been just the way that pair was sewn. It so was, or you're so just it, hoping for a badass break in period, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or I, I assume they would break in. Okay. I didn't. I knew I wouldn't wear the shoe enough to be able to break it in. Sure. For the reasons I just that are you could, went over. Um, if it don't fit, I'll go back with you, and we'll swap one shoe for the other. Shoe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's sick. Tight. And we'll and we'll video. Everything. I like that. Dang. I like that a lot. <laughs> Only other company that does that is Nordstrom. No so shout outs to the reup. The reup <laughs> yeah. with customer service. Damn. Bam. No, I really. Uh, no, I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, that's the reason, dude. I just had to get rid of them. Wow. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I've worn that shoe already on two date nights. Great shoe. You love it. I got no problem with that shoe. Have you tried it with shorts? Uh, no, I have not. But <laughs> speaking of which, man, <laughs> let, me, let me talk about some shorts here. Have what? you seen mine today that I got on? Yes. I saw a really dope Shaquille O'Neal throwback that would have just matched perfect. Where at? It was at uh, Mills when I was there on Sunday. I was there. I know you got to take care of Mia. What, let's go. I'm already That's ready. That's content. I don't think you need to be in a full-on Orlando Magic outfit, Dallas, <laughs> like your four-year-old. What do you mean? Do you need to be... <laughs> 
I, I, so I, I had I had a I had a Shaquille O'Neal jersey throwback to match oh, those shit. at the yeah. re-up. We have jerseys. Oh, you have, you have one there? You have one right uh, now? When we sold out. That was the oh. quickest one oh, we sold out shit. of. That would have been are we great. Doing, man? That would have been great. Dude, we like need that ready for the to... thumbnail. Like you're actually ready to ball. Yeah. Like you're on the court <laughs> ready, ready to go. with the with the mullet. With yeah. the oh, with the with mullet. the perm Damn, perm man, I got mullet. So much from to do. Emily we got to create content with a car. I need to go get a throwback at Mills. I need to Get a we gotta make this some videos. We got the, the IKEA cabinet I, sesh might have to be postponed. I, yeah. Robin's gonna hate me for that, but we you might know have what? to postpone the IKEA, postpone the uh, right, I guess cabinet sesh. Talk a little bit of love sesh as well. Uh, yeah, she's not happy with me right now. What? Oh, oh you guys are our shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JJ. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Grab that mic, shit. JJ. Welcome back to the show, man. What Glad did you do this time? Yeah, what did you do this time? Jeez. Let's see. Let's go through the target of events last night. So, uh, oh yeah, yesterday. Uh, remember, I woke up. Feeling pretty ill, right? Fat tires, three dollars. Yes. Pepperoni yes. rolls, yep. old seas. Yep. Stayed up a little too late, ruined my routine. Yep. Started there. Felt like shit all day. Of yesterday. course. I get home and she's asked me one thing. She's like, Hey, do you think you can maybe clean your bathroom? So <laughs> she's got a new office. I like the Dude. impression. Dude. I like the impression. That's pretty good, wasn't it? So she's got a new office. The fact that I know her makes it so much yeah. funnier. She's got a new office and it's right next to my bathroom. <laughs> this girl pees. 13 to oh, 18 oh, times a mine day. mine too. Oh, Same thing. It's she's so hydrated. No it's amazing. No so bladder control. I can't hate on it. No. Right. But like if we're going to go on a trip, she's got to take three pisses What to like even plan to make the trip. Yeah, before we can even start planning that yeah. we're going. She's yeah. got to take three no weeks. Doubt. No doubt. Okay, it is what it is. And <laughs> did then, you just throw up a four? No, he did. Oh, I, no, I, did the three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said she's got to take three leaks. <laughs> Like, All right, at least three. Go, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so, go. and then and then she's got to take another two before we actually get in the car. And then, wow. you know, so whatever. Uh, long story short, the bathroom, my bathroom that I use, uh, because her, she's got all the makeup stuff. Like, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, all the just, vanity, all, all this yeah. crap on it. You know, I just can't deal with. If it. you use it, you're dropping it in the toilet. And, yeah, and totally. Sink. So it's it's just not good. So my bathroom, however, it's got the not deodorant. Good. Not below, not good. <laughs> Below not good. We have to play both every <laughs> time. We can't just play every time. I love the below not good. Right, go but uh, so I've got the colognes and I've got the uh, the deodorants and some of the shaving gear. Well, the problem is, I haven't really been cleaning off or cleaning up the the like small hairs when you trim your beard hair a little bit. So I've got a, I've got quite a bit of black Manscaped. beard oh, hair. Oh, that's bad. What do you mean? I know that's a bunch of man. That's terrible. All over. Yeah, you got hair all over the counter, and you I haven't. Got, I, it's not all over. It's, all right, it's well, bringing it's, this on yourself, man. It's not Come below on. not good. Uh, okay, below not good. But there's a little bit of hair in there, and you know the toilet is the toilet could use a little cleaning, but it's not it's not terrible. That being said, <laughs> oh that being said, she asked me if I could clean it. I told her, Robin, I feel like shit. I just want to kind of lay down. She was cool. So the whole night, I'm watching. Uh, I get in this vicious cycle of NBA, oh, NBA. NBA, not YouTube today. Okay. And uh, you know, she finally and I don't eat dinner with her because uh, uh, I wasn't ready to eat. No, my stomach's hurting, man. I you know, yeah. I, I didn't want to take a seventh shit for the day. Okay, let me be honest. <laughs> oh, wow, you guys have got some okay? toilets are getting a workout over there. <laughs> <laughs> my work he's, toilet. He's, he's all. I feel like shit. She's like, your toilet looks like shit. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no shit. And meanwhile, I left all my shits at work. I love to take shits at work. That's <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fucking hey, dead. I'm glad the Kawhi's back. He's back, yeah. Thanks for reloading. I had to. Yeah. I had to. Thanks for re upping that. I really uh, appreciate uh, you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways, so <laughs> so she hits me up and she's like, I'm going upstairs. And I'm like, all right, I'm sorry. I feel like shit. So, uh, about an hour and a half. <laughs> don't sound like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, but I feel like shit. <laughs> that was it. So she goes upstairs. Hour and a half later, you know, we're done with the Houston game and we're, you know, second quarter of the Golden State, so the later game. And I'm like, all right, I, I bet, you know, in my head, I'm like, I better march up there and have a little talk with her. Just check it, you know? So I did. And I was like, hey, babe, how you doing? And she just got a phone with her sister. I'm like, were you just talking to Sydney? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, that's cool, man. How you doing? How you feeling? Whatever. And trying to be nice because you knew. Yeah, trying to be nice. Yep. And then, mm -hmm. of course, I get the. 
well, and I'm like, oh my He's like, god! Shit, I got a game to watch, <laughs> dude. I'm literally, I've got the door uh, open. Oh my god, she's gonna hate me after this, dude. I literally, I'm in the bedroom and I'm at the, I'm at the bottom of our bed, right? Like just on my knees, kind of talking to her at an angle because she's on one side of the bed and my side, you know, I'm, I'm angled, right? So I'm angled because I can see, I've got a perfect view. I was gonna say, do you, can TV you see the TV downstairs, yeah. the little fifty uh, inch? Yeah, and I'm like this. Yeah, moving back and side, forth. moving eyes side to side, not head side to side. <laughs> Still focused, okay, kind of like that. You know what I mean? And uh, so are you watching? You the know, game? and she's like, "Well," and I'm like, I, I literally went like this. <sighs> oh no, uh, <laughs> I did. Oh, shit. And at that time, she's like, "What?" <laughs> it's all my stomach hurts, and I'm like, "I feel like shit." <laughs> it's exactly what I said. I said, "I feel like shit," and. Uh, and I'm like, I came up here to check on you, and now you gotta have a big ass conversation. I don't want to do that right now. I just don't want to. <laughs> I want to go that. back to the game. Okay. I just came I to see if back. you were all right. I'm checking in, which yeah, is what you ask. In. That connection, that intimacy. You know, making sure that that connection is still there. She's like, don't feel like no damn connection. I said, oh, yeah, because you won't let me go to the, back to the game. <laughs> So, Alice. so it, it got a little heavy so after she's that. Like, you know what? Sleep in the bathroom. Uh, yeah. Well, well, you're sleeping so next to the porcelain. That, <laughs> <laughs> she's. She's like, you want to be shitty? Now you're gonna, now you're gonna feel shitty. Yeah, you feel shitty. You're gonna smell shitty. You're you gonna smell feel shitty. shitty. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> you're uh, shitty. You're a shitty. <laughs> yeah, you're just a you're shit a dog. person. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, anyways, uh, long story short, I slept on the couch. I chose to, but I woke up at two. <laughs> you had to put that in. Yeah, I chose, I chose to. Chose to I, do that. So, it's because I was watching yeah. TV so much, I just passed out. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> right. So at two thirty, I'm like, all right. I better go up there. Yeah, my back's you know. hurting. My back. neck's getting a little, <laughs> getting a little crazy. <laughs> my neck's a little shitty. Yeah, totally. I better get up there. So I, I get up there and, uh, you know, I try not to make too much noise, you know, because I don't want to wake her up and, and have that discussion. You know, right, as well, right. Because that, that ain't going to be good either. But, yeah. Uh, so like, you ready to talk now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> she's, just, uh, she's just looking yeah. at you while you come yeah. in the door at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> she's wide awake, yeah. Yeah. sitting on the edge of the bed oh, in her she's nightgown. Yeah. Still feel like shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Hello. <laughs> Hello. She's like yeah. Mr. Burns. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good to see you. Oh, shit. It. Uh so anyways, uh, you know, she did wake up and she's like, Ugh. <laughs> like she's mad that I got in, but oh, I think she was asleep. No. Uh so then this morning when we woke up, uh, you know, there there was not a lot of words said, unfortunately. And you know, with her new work <laughs> <Unfortunately. laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's all, after he just said, man, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Now he's like, unfortunately, yeah. when now, I wanted to talk. Yeah, because now I'm kind of feeling a little bad. But, uh, you know, so uh, she, she she starts her work a little early now. And uh, so she was already working when I was kind of walking out, uh, trying to get trying to get this fit right, yeah. you know, with the shoes. Gotta get that fit. And, and by the way, I chose the Jordan 1 Royals uh, to go with these sick Orlando Magic shorts. Couldn't do the jersey, though, huh? Couldn't, Forgot the jersey. <laughs> could, couldn't couldn't play it like I was seven. I need you in the thumbnail with the jersey <laughs> the or the basketball like this. Yeah. I know. <laughs> ready to game. I know. Like, ready like to NBA jam. Yeah. Like, exactly. I, would, I would take a uh, Dennis Anderson. I'd take a J- Jameer Nelson. I would take a... Hardaway. Hardaway. I would take... Uh, McGrady, Shaq, of course, Shaq? yeah, any of yeah. those. Yeah. But, anywho, so uh, this morning, uh, so I left, and uh, she was already on a call, you know, one of those Skype calls for work or whatever. And uh, I walked in, and I could kind of feel it, you know. But I gave her a kiss on the head and made my way out. Nice. That's, that's where we leave it now. Mm-hmm. Nice. So that's what it is. No it's text not nice. or anything. It's not nice. No text or anything. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm I'm nervous. Any texts? <laughs> No. Good, because you're off today. She, so you're going gonna to go home. You're going to see her. You guys have the cabinet thing, and you're just going to start fresh here. What it was was what it was. It's a little tiff. Have you cleaned up the hair yet? No. Have you, you gotta, cleaned up the you gotta, you gotta go <laughs> in. You got to go in with like gloves on, ready yeah. to clean. Here we go. This is what you do. You get home. Can I still have the jersey on? Yeah. (laughs) Yes. That's fine. I want you cleaning in your basketball outfit. (laughs) Like, you ready? (laughs) Like, you're ready to hit Rucker. Yeah. So, all right. So, you go in. You get some gloves on. You put the Supreme shower cap on, and you just start cleaning, dude. Don't even say nothing. You don't even say nothing. Like, did you want me to hit your bathroom? Yeah, yeah. You come in with the Lysol, with the gloves on, with the shower cap. You want want to hit your bathroom too, babe? And you're just ready to go in full clean mode with the gloves on. Where's my basketball? (laughs) Got the goggles and everything. You ready for down. Shit. Yeah, you okay. got goggles on. You got eye protective so, eyewear. Okay, so I got a little serious. Put the basketball down, but I made up for it with the shower supreme. Cap. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, exactly. You're still hype. Yeah. Keep going. You're still hype cleaning. Okay. So then you go in. You ask her, "Hey, need me to hit yours yeah. too?" She's either gonna laugh, yeah, or she's gonna be tell you, "Yeah, I would like." That's great, Dallas. Yeah. Or she'll be like, "No, I don't need it." She's gonna still have a little attitude. Yeah. You just go back to cleaning. Do your thing. Well, if she's still mad, 
whatever, let her be mad, and then just, hey, are we going to Ikea? I, I wanted to kind of, we're, tr- we're trying to get the Hot Wheels car, me and franchise, so yeah. we wanted to try to get that done. Can we hit the Ikea? Promised you we'd do that. Let's take care of that. See where she's at. Hopefully, you guys can just start fresh. Everything's going to be fine. It's a new yeah. day. You've cleaned up the bathroom now. You're good to go with that. And you guys just start fresh. Everything's yeah, good. Be like, I, man, I had amnesia yesterday. I felt like shit so bad. I wasn't even myself. And then yeah. boom. You just in. tell her, I, babe, I, I really me. felt like shit. I yeah. was not trying to clean the bathroom yesterday. I know you wanted it done, but hey, yeah. I got it done now. I'm feeling better. We just had the cast. We had a great cast. Yeah. Energy you know was good. Sneaker cons in two right? days. Yeah. <laughs> We're ready hey, to go. Can I just can I actually just play this cast early for her? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and can we just go that way? We're we're gonna uh yeah, as so long as you sign up JJ? for the Patreon, I'll give you the audio early. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Okay. You, you sign up for the Patreon, I'll give you the audio early. Awesome. You can go ahead and uh play that for her here in a couple hours. Cleaning. Yeah. And then you're ready to go. Exactly. I think that's it, dude. <sighs> Figured it out. There I think that's go. it. Ready to go. You come in here with your with your uh, relationship problems, and we'll give you therapy here. Definitely. And then you're getting real therapy on Fridays yeah. when you go. For only $5 a month with Patreon, your relationship will be successful. That's exactly. go. Dude, we need to have a relationship exactly. advice. That's what we're doing. Subscription on Patreon. All right, cool. I, I, feel like we got, I feel like we got good advice, dude. I think so. I feel like we have the we have some of the best. We've been there. Done we've that. been through a lot. We got a lot of t-shirts. We've been. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of t-shirts. T-shirts. We've yeah, been dog. through a ton. A lot. Speaking of that, uh, speaking of t-shirts, yeah, dude, we have a few different people that reached out to uh, really do some designs. So I'm excited about that. We need to get our graphics stuff in order. I yeah. don't design shit. You don't design shit. So. Ooh, I, need I, to, I just approve. I just approve shit. And by the yeah, way, exactly. the Aqua Fresh. I, I I may have a couple extra shirts at SneakerCon. If you guys want them, great. If you don't, no big deal. I might have a couple pair uh, or a couple extra T-shirts. So uh, let me know. Come by the booth. That's the beginning design to the SneakerCon tees for Denver. Oh, dope. So you got the mountains. It's the beginning. So Obviously, guys, it's not done. If oh, you dope. guys need something, let's go. Sick. You got the old school Nuggets font. Yeah. You got the mountains with the uh, Denver skyline there. Yep. New school colors. Yep. New Navy school. Tees. Mm-hmm. Sick. Super sick. Hell yeah. Yeah, I definitely got to get one of those, bro. Yeah. Oh, by the way, real quick with SneakerCon, uh, JJ. Oh. Um, I, I would oh, really, I'd, boy. I'd really I like to, talking. I'd really like to know what your plan is for SneakerCon in terms of what you're oh, wearing, wearing. Okay. and how, oh. how hyped are you going to be for SneakerCon in terms of your, your uh, formal attire? <laughs> okay. So I, want, plan? I would like to begin this off by saying that I'm going to be under not a lot of stress, but I'm going to be under a little stress because I'm going to make sure the interviews are going fine. Okay. Yep. Everything's recording. Yep. We get our vlog done. Right. So but that's you, my main focus. But you can't okay? do that with hype clothing? We're just I'm asking just, what you're wearing. What's we, your plan for SneakerCon? What can we expect you to show up and show out in? Okay. Or are you not doing any showing okay. out? You're just showing can, up. Can I, pick I, a, okay. can I pick up a jersey for you? Can we, can we be jersey okay. bros? <laughs> uh, oh. I oh oh you can be white Iverson okay oh so Nito I'm flossing I'm flossing okay. on you I'm balling I'm balling I'm balling on you yeah. I don't know the words you and you know, know I'm balling I'm balling I'm balling I'm balling I'm balling I'm balling I don't know the words yeah. it's pretty good though I just oh, know the melody words. yeah those are the words oh those were the words okay yeah, yeah. it's mumble rap I'm Toast Malone. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is your um, outfit? So I was. Or are think- you still p- still learning? Still no. picking it out? Okay, so I'm thinking about wearing these skinny jeans, um, the UNC mids that you gave me with the pan leather. Oh, Ooh, the white white my baby all blue white black. Those are nice. UNC mids. Four A eight Ferrari. Um, Anti-social social club tee. Wow. And just probably a black hat or this one. But nice. Yeah. That's, All right. Wow. That's pretty swagged that's out. That's pretty good. I like yeah. it, JJ. I like it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. That's a nice update. Thank you. What, <laughs> what else do you want? Like, I don't know what else to say. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I just need, hey, JJ, I just need our people to know who to look out for and who's important. You're that dude. Exactly. You're the biggest thing. You're the best thing that's happened to this podcast in the last two episodes. Did you know that? No. Just wait till you hear the comments today. Oh, really? You're oh, the is man. there some good comments for him in there? Look JJ's going to start Aloe wow. Black. You know what? He, we might upgrade I'm his song to Aloe Black here soon. And you can tell everybody. That's great because like, I've been hyped up on caffeine and just losing sleep like it's nothing right now. So that's, that's I appreciate it. That's what it takes JJ, to be successful, JJ. Let's be real. Are you doing a little bit of that to yourself? Not really. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. JJ. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, it's more of like a schedule. Look how quick that changed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay I, 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 no. JJ, I honestly kind of had this conversation with myself last night. I like, wouldn't want you to I lie. have like a problem with pro- 
procrastination and like a little bit of scheduling because I have so much stuff to do and I just... You don't know where to start. Yes, and I just like... I get to a point at the end of the day where I'm like, oh, I have no energy left, but I have a shit ton of stuff to do. And I kind of sort of put it off a little bit. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I have to get this done before tonight ends type of thing. Yeah. And yeah. Let me tell you something I learned from my aunt when living with her. And I just barely learned this, by the way. Yeah. This is something that I, you know, when my house burned down, I had to move in with my aunt. Uh, This is something I learned while living with her. She religiously makes lists. And I've known people that have made lists before, and I'm kind of like, yeah, whatever. You know, I, yeah, I'm bad I with taking like, notes and making lists. I literally have been watching, uh, listening to this podcast. Uh, the most underrated? This, no. Yeah, I, no. Um, I w- listen to that way too much. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sky, uh, with the jokes. <laughs> um, I spent way too much time on that one. <laughs> I'm consuming way too much no, most underrated it's just like content. A, a CEO I look up to, and he was just talking about making a list of five like the most important things, you take five things out of the most important things. <laughs> five things? Five things. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this fool had four fingers up. Please, so you, you better know. zoom that in on YouTube. Yeah. You better zoom better. that in. And you had it up for a hot minute, yeah. dog. You had you had it up for a hot five seconds. You had a yeah. four up. You hit. You slammed us with your hands you like that. <laughs> Listen, I saw the weightlifting calluses. That's how long you had it up. I was focused on the calluses. I was like, damn, this fool's lifting. Wait, there's a four there. There's not even a five. And he repeated it. Five. And he still has four. What is going on? Uh, you got to zoom that in oh on YouTube. <laughs> Must. That was fire. Uh, wow. I, it, okay, so a I'm list just of five things. L's here, here and there, but yeah. Take that L on the way out. Just make, yeah, write down five things that you're going to get done today and go for it. And I guess it sounds like that's the best way to do it because Dude. you don't overbook yourself. You may, it's easier to like keep that fresh in your mind so you don't forget about it. And. My aunt yeah. is an insanely busy school teacher who teaches blind kids. She wakes up every day at 4.30 in the morning. She's not married or anything, so it's only hers. And she owns a house, so she has, yeah. and she has two dogs. So she yeah. has to wake up at 4.30 in the morning in order to get all the stuff done that she needs to before going to school. You know, at seven or whenever she leaves, yeah. six thirty, whatever she does to get there on time. Then she goes through, does her day. She gets out of school and she has a list of stuff she needs to do to get home. Stuff she has to, you know, make sure the dogs are good, walk the dogs, feed the dogs, whatever. Then cook herself dinner. She has to go yeah. to the store, prep everything. She has to make sure the house is cleaned, laundry. She has Honestly, so much man. stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do when it's just one person. And I didn't really think of that because I'm one person too. But yeah. I don't do half the stuff she does. But my house also doesn't look like hers. The house is always clean. The pets are always, you know, everything's always taken care of over there. Yeah, and I'm wondering looking around like damn why is my life in chaos and i'm not doing half the shit she's doing because she has a list she makes a whole list of what she needs to get done and she prioritizes and as she crosses stuff off she's like it makes me feel good so i started doing that and i definitely notice it it just i started just simple something simple like groceries you know and you get a grocery list going and then you start going through that you feel better as you start knocking things off that then the same thing around the house or at work i've started to make lists more and more through my days here so just making a list is really the best way to go and honestly i because i'm bad with procrastination as well i i used to be i'm getting better with the list with the list theory it's going a lot better for me so you need to make a list that and way yeah, you can start for crossing sure. stuff off, and you need to not well, like, wait. You need to start doing stuff as soon as you can. Yeah, that's I like. Turn off the it's Netflix. Crazy that you turn like, off the bring that up because I'm like actually <laughs> trying to plan out meals more. I'm like right. gonna get a rice cooker, <clears throat> borrow my nice. dad's crock pot so I could just make food while I just work, so right. I could just grab it, eat it, and then just continue working. Or so I'm eat. always like, uh, what? Or not eat? Yeah. Or just yeah, just don't eat. Yeah. That's, Dude, that's that's the scary part about editing. You could go hours without eating or drinking or honestly doing anything because you're just so locked in. Right. No, uh, it's it. Yeah, it's, R- Robin couldn't. She still had to have to go yeah, to the bathroom. Yeah, she still <laughs> had to go to the bathroom. For sure. Well, see, even like to the list thing, like, um, it's crazy you say that because my daughter, she's six years old. Yeah. And like, brush her teeth. Yep. Make sure you put on your clothes. Make sure you brush your hair. Make mm-hmm. sure you. When you get home from school, take off your shoes, <laughs> put your backpack away. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, stuff like that. You guys like, do that for her? Yeah. Oh, nice. And like, now she's like, she gets up, she's like, uh, Dad, can you put cartoons on? She's like, wants to hear background noise. Mm-hmm. So then she's like, you know, goes upstairs, brushes her teeth, washes her face, hits her face, you know, f- picks out little hair ties she wanted in her hair and yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. So it's getting def- all her stuff ready, developing oh, a routine is, I think that's definitely. crucial at a young age. Like, definitely. what you guys are doing is great, dude. Definitely. Yeah, I think uh, super, super important. So I know I have been helped by that. We need to get you better, especially if we want to be 
eventually able to offer this podcast the same day for folks that are subscribing on Patreon. And we were joking about that earlier, but yeah. we want to be able to offer, you know, same day podcasts for people that are subscribed. We want to give you guys perks. So we're still going through and narrowing down all the things that we want to do for Patreon. Some stuff, it may stick and it may be great. Some stuff may not stick and we may change it or we may add different things as well. So um, we're still going through to kind of get all those things together for Patreon, everything there. Uh, do you guys have anything more on uh, sneakers and fashion before we move on to um, some of the, uh, YouTube comments here. Nope. I think we're good, man. <clears throat> good on that. Yeah. Cool. Oh, one one thing. What up? What up? We have another box. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me. Go. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Thank you. So just just so you know, I I do watch the podcast <clears throat> and uh, anything that's your size, just put on. That's what. <laughs> that's what he's. Or no, that, I think. Did you hit me up? Yeah. Tell me that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So these are the uh, the Jordan Eleven snakeskin joints. Did these come out in three all three colorways yet, or are they just are they coming? Just, in three so colorways? just this. The next one is pink Kay. for women, mm -hmm. and then they have a bone colorway. Gotcha. Yeah. And then the, the the greens were the runs that they dropped years ago, yeah. right? Yeah. Retro, yeah. They're not retroing they're them. They're black and and green. Yeah. Right. But are they retroing them? No. Not okay. Yet. Okay. That's what I was seeing pictures of. I was like, wait, I don't remember. Or I haven't seen anything about those being retro. The old mean greens. Yeah, I think people were just comparing them to these. Yeah. Um, I want to see a red snake skin. That that pink one is pretty cool. You said it's yeah. women's only though. Yes, yeah. So hmm. yeah, it goes up to obviously like a men's ten, ten and a half or something like that. Gotcha. So here we are, man. The Jordan Eleven Low. What are these called? Like officially? What's the? Are they just the blue snakeskin or like navy snakeskin? Okay, yeah. cool. And they, they came in all sizes. So like, so the the GS sizes are different material than those. So those, if you look close, it's like a fabric snakeskin. Like yeah. you, you can see the fabric between the, the scales mm -hmm. and the, the GS pairs are uh, more like the green snake skins. That's like a embossed leather. But, uh, but yeah, those went all the way down to a preschool size. Mm -hmm. I, 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 one thing I do like about the 11s, those 11s is the leather that they're putting on. Let the me see sides. this. I'm putting them on right now. Let me see that the, the, the leather they're putting on the sides instead of the mesh. Yeah. Because mesh is so hard to clean. Yeah. Like the cherry lows. I totally yeah. agree. Almost impossible yep. to clean. That looks really nice, actually, that yeah. leather. I mean, it's not super, super plush, but it's it yeah. seems pretty nice just by Dude, this it. feels this is probably the nicest leather I've seen on a GR yeah. in a long yeah. time. Definitely. This is this feels it really feels pretty nice. nice. It feels yep. super soft. I'm not a huge fan of the snake skin just because I, I love the patent leather so yeah. much. Same. It just feels like they're reaching for me. Yeah. Like it just looks like a Something I got from the shoe surgeon. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It mm -hmm. takes all the OG aesthetic away not, from me, which is what I love. I love OG stuff, and that's it's not, not shoe surgeon quality, yeah. like right. scales. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just it gives you the it's for wear impression of scales, yeah. but it's not actual like shoe surgeon shit. Is he's like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really snake scaly. Bro. Yeah. he's like let's go get a snake. Yeah, he's out yeah. in the outback. He, that, yeah. fool, that fool is the Steve Irwin of shoes. <laughs> yeah. He's killing what's, gators. What's his son's name? Is still around? Uh, oh. Uh, the he's the big. He's he's getting big too. He has like his own little Damn, show and it? stuff. What's that? Yeah. Uh, find that. Find the little Irwin for me. The little Irwin. I'm walking around right now. Oh, sorry. I forgot. You guys can't hear me. I'm on the mic. I'm walking around. I actually. What do you guys think of these? Give me some. Uh, Robert Irwin. Yeah, Robert is. Robert Irwin. Damn it. I yeah, saw that from Jimmy Fallon. I knew it was. What do you guys think of these? See, you always pull. You always pull Elevens off really well. Dude, I don't. You think just need some nice shorts. And. Yeah, see, Elevens are great with are shorts, popping. dude. That's what I like, but Elevens I just can't pull off. Like, yeah. I'm not an Eleven guy. Do you get I, that from me? I'm not an Eleven guy. I think he pulls it off. I think what he does need is because uh, it's a summer type of shoe. He needs some jorts. Jordan. And yeah, some dude, knee braces. Dude, if you had some... Those are the Texas rattlesnakes. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you got to have the jorts, oh, the knee braces, and a white shirt, dude. That thing would... That look, that's a fire That's fit. a sneaker con fit. Yeah. If I were a, an Austin 316, yeah. Yeah. Yep. jorts... Jorts, some jorts, the black the braces. braces, and these kicks, dude. And that's I roll in with the title belt, and, dude. And and uh, that's and another like black content. duct tape on your wrists, dude. <laughs> dude, that's another content. That's another video, dude. For your donation of two dollars for Patreon, you could see our our prefit for SneakerCon twenty nineteen. Oh, good. Like, there's just so much we could do. Did you see? Uh, that reminds me of now Damian Lillard. Because he just hit the game winner. Did you see him on Halloween last year rolling yeah. in the Stone Cold? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a bunch of people reposting that after he uh, he even had the walk. That shot. Oh, it was sick. The walk had was the sick. music in there, dude. You should wear Super you should wear a Stone Cold fit tomorrow or on Saturday. I think it'd be tight. Uh, Jorts knee brace. I think we can find a knee brace or two at the Ark here. Is the sneaker Connors at Halloween? What do you mean? Why would, <laughs> why would I go there? And, 
<laughs> you guys are getting too wild now. <laughs> maybe, maybe if it was like in advance, maybe you could guys. Just because you could, backed yourself into the Aquafresh <laughs> corner, yeah. don't try to fucking. Maybe, maybe you guys can like. Hey, don't hate on my Aquafresh. On the on the next sneaker con that you guys go to, um, spoiler alert. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, you can get pe- the the listeners to like pick your your fits. Pick your fits. Yeah. Oh, that would be tight. Pick your fits in the tantrums. Which uh, nice. fits in the tantrums? Got him, Dallas. I can't even hear. I don't have my headphones in. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, I like those shoes. I think they're great. No, I was gonna say on the sneaker oh. comp fits. Damn okay. it, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, I think that would be dope. We could put up a uh, certain shoes mm-hmm. you're gonna wear with each one. Like, yeah, hey, like a pole. Yeah, a pole of these, 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 or these. And then same thing with the shirts. Same thing with the pants. Yeah, I don't you know let I mean? them just pick whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> like assless chaps. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely some requirements here. Oh, we'll de- we'll definitely put a ride in. in there for sure. No, we're not putting a ride in. We're not putting a ride in. Why would we, we got to put, put a ride in? He just said, "Don't let them choose," and you say, "Yep, we're putting. We're definitely putting a ride in." Oh, because I think it's a great idea. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so for sneaker con, we can still do this for you. Aqua Fresh tea, fit. Go to Emily Griffith, get you a perm for the mullet. A per uh, the back. I don't even think these fools know what Emily Griffith is. Uh, I do. I know. I'm talking about the listeners. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, gotcha. Unless they're from here, explain it. Opportunity school. Yeah, it's an opportunity school. So uh, tuition, that kind of stuff. So people, you know, that have gotten in trouble, people that aren't uh, successful, taken out of uh, homes that weren't obviously, you know, uh, good for uh, them to grow up through. Yeah, it's a, a Guys, it's a alternative be, school. It's a school for fuck ups. Okay, <laughs> your kids are fucked up. They're probably ending up there. It's not sugar coated. Guy, well, it's an opportunity. It's, it's they call it an opportunity, opportunity school. school. Okay, well, it's, it's opportunity it's, school. If you want to be a barber, that's where like ninety percent of Colorado <laughs> barbers are from. That's what about Barbazon? Oh, <laughs> remember that from back yes. in the <laughs> Barbazon. Barbazon. Those commercials were the worst. Dude, that was, it was, uh, if you're unfamiliar with Barbazon, it was like this pay for play, like modeling scheme, modeling scheme. It was like one of those old where they'd spot your kid in the mall. Like, oh, sir, your kid has what it takes to be one of the top models in the country. <laughs> yeah. I am telling you what, you know, one of these gay dudes would come up to you, hawk yeah. your kid and be like, oh, this kid is gorgeous. This guy's going to be a star. You guys, all you have to do, you know, they would uh, turn, and then, and then turn they would, for me. Yep. And, and then they'd be like, that's where <laughs> I got my up. star. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there, so I, in, a, in Aurora Wait, what, mall, Chester, you're a model. Yeah. In, in oh. Aurora mall. They had one of those still that uh, this last year. Really, Barbazon like, thing. Hold up, hold up. Hey, <laughs> I think I think Barbazon is the whole reason why kiosks in malls were started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Barbazon is the foundation for real of kiosks. Talking you. Hey, 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 real quick. Hey, real hey, hey. quick. That's the funny thing. You know, Let me get at you, you know, you know, what we always do at the reup. We always like to make everything fun, totally. and we're always like, people will come in, and we're like, I tell my employees like. Don't be so hell bent on like you know saying the same thing. So I'm like, tell people like, hey, you wear shoes, right? You know, like it's it's an obvious question. People get a laugh out of it, and then we break the ice and we're like, we're, you wear shoes, right? Oh yeah, I so see you got Yeezys on or whatever. Check out our wall, you know. Sales got, 101. Yeah, you yeah. easy, easy. There but it like, is. it's so hilarious, like how those people in the mall are like, they're like, even w- the necklace people, the jewelry, they're like. Oh, you, let me show you a nice chain. You got you got earrings in, you know. Let me yeah. show you some earrings. I'm like crazy. It's okay. I, I'm just walking. <laughs> right. Yeah. My shit's, I'm on a lunch break. My shit's real. <laughs> Calm down. You don't need. I need to show me your twenty dollars earrings and turn my shit green. Yeah. So before we move on to YouTube comments, uh, the <clears throat> shoes you've tried them on, you've seen them in hand. They're sitting on shelves, probably at most places still. Maybe not full size runs. Not small sizes. Gotcha. Small sizes. Ten, Copper, ten and a half and up. Copper drop. I don't love them enough to cop. Like if I if yeah. I would have cop for the Stone Cold thing, yeah, I just don't think I love them enough to cop. And I'm an, I have eleven lows. I wore uh, the Georgetown eleven lows yesterday. JJ was asking me what the, are those? The Jeters are my favorite. I have the Jeters. Ooh. I have the Georgetowns. I have the closing ceremonies, the white and gold, and then I got the uh, cool gray eleven lows as well. Right. So I, I I like eleven lows, but I just I don't like this pair enough that more I don't like those more than any of the pairs I have. I'm with you. And so for that reason, I'm, I'm passing. <laughs> for that reason, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, um, YouTube comments. Let's move in here. The homie Dirty DJ up first. 
Uh, didn't get a chance to consume the last cast before Monday's show. Keep killing it. Hype for the draft tonight, even though I'm not too familiar with this year's draft class, but I like the drama that comes with the draft. Look forward to seeing what the cards do at QB and the Raiders with all their picks. Ravens don't pick till late in the first round. and will probably trade out of the first round like they always do. Can't wait to see the footage from SneakerCon. Have a blast, guys. Def makes my day when, we, when I wake up to a new cast to consume. Keep grinding, fellas. Appreciate you, my dog. Shots. Coming through. Shots, shots, shots. All right. Uh, let's see here. I think. I think. Uh, you got to get the Kool Aid guy. Oh yeah. That that that'd be oh, nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a good sound drop. Yeah. Oh yeah. I need to. Yeah, because I got hell. I got the hell yeah from Chris Farley. I need a Stone Cold hell yeah too. There's a couple updates I need to get. Or a Stone Cold what for JJ what? when you don't know what <laughs> when you don't know something. Yeah. Yeah, that would be funny. Like Sega Genesis. Yes. You, Game Gear. There's no Game, Game Genie. Gear. Yeah. Funny. All right. So, <clears throat> sorry, I forgot. I have a couple of uh, um, comments we need to sure up here uh, from the last cast. There was a couple oh, people that came previous. in late. That's yeah. Right. And I wanted to make sure I get them in. So, um, I forgot about that. But here. So, this, this dude, James. First, let's play the last name game. Y'all had me rolling on the last cast with the comment calling me Guragna. <laughs> but it's actually Guragna. Gurag Oh. The beginning is like the start of the word gun or gum. No big deal. I just thought it was hilarious. Okay, so if it's not guragna, it's ga. Guragna. 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 Gum, oh no, he, oh yeah, the start of the word. Yeah, ga. Guragna. Guragna. Oh, yeah, so James Guragna. Are you going to remember that now? Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, remember that one for. Got it. Next time he comments. Don't, guragna. Don't shoot yourself in the foot now. No. All <laughs> right. <laughs> the homie James is in. Anyway, one of the best casts yet, which I felt Thank you, dog. I feel like that one was one of the best, too. Not the last show, but the show before that. Yeah, the one we did one. last Thursday. That was one of my favorite shows. I really enjoyed it. Well balanced like JJ's breakfast. <laughs> Anyways, that was one of the best casts yet. JJ is finding his groove and becoming more involved with each cast. Cue the string team. Hell yeah. I appreciate it, man. I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I appreciate it. TTF, I know it's early, but are you planning on doing any more DraftKings contests next year for the NFL? The March Madness tournament was a blast. I didn't get to participate in any of the DK tournaments last year, but would definitely want to, uh, would definitely want to for the upcoming season. Also on that note, I love how you all rock with your Denver teams, but can still be impartial about sports. The way you guys can talk about other teams in such a fair, honest way, strengths and weaknesses, is a very underrated skill, and I want to acknowledge that. That's why we're the most underrated, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, my dog. Lastly, I was rewatching one of the old vlogs since I was thinking about scooping up the Adidas mids that you and Dal called the Graspins mm. and the multicolor <laughs> Venom joints. Yeah. They're both going for around under 100 bucks in my size on StockX. Worth a cop? Mostly curious about Dal's comment about the muffin top and if that held up over time or if it went away. Thanks always, fellas. Look at that shit, dude. Great comment. That is great, man. That's a lot of, there's a lot of questions he in there. There's a lot of good shit. Listen to the show. Yeah, he listens. He knows what we call things. Yep. Say, great. Appreciate man. you, James. Uh, what do you think, Dal? Uh, yes. Cop, dude. Anything under $100. Ultra, cop, any Ultra Boost under 100 Cop the hell out of those. Yeah, I mean. The muffin top still <clears throat> is there, but it hasn't got any worse, is what I would say. So um, buy, buy it as tight as you can go. You know, um, they run a little bit long, not much, but man, if you could, if you got definitely go your true to size, but if you go a half down somehow because you do not have a wide foot, if you could do that, do it. Uh, cause that, that eliminates that muffin top as much as you possibly can, but it does not get worse. Perfect. Uh, oh, speaking of that, this is kind of a lot. I, I meant to bring this up in sneakers. Did you see the Climas that dropped the multicolor ones? I forgot what they're called. They have some name, but uh, the new ones that just yeah, dropped today. They're, they, the, they almost look like a Kith Aspen. It's, it's the Masoni, uh, the Masoni yeah, collab. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. So I've seen. Yeah, some people call them multicolor. Some people call them Masoni. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get those, dude. Are you? I think those are so sick. The, and I'm gonna get those in. Uh, once the like they go, super white pair, right? Yeah. Yeah. With the dude, I love that's the way. That's the best pair. I love that they're how they're the whole upper is like multicolor, like the Kiths, and but then, then white laces. The white laces yeah. just pop off of that design and did you see on the inside is that the medial yeah medial uh that is actually full color yes like the aspens yeah yeah i think that's cool i can't wait till those go into retail i'm not gonna cop today no. i just saw i got a bunch of notifications that came out today i'm not gonna cop today They're sitting everywhere but dude once those are going for a 110 it's on 120 yeah copping climbers sure. are back i might cop i might you need three <laughs> i might i don't need three but i might cop <laughs> oh dude another thing what's that i might be bringing uh all those me adidas ultra boost to sneaker con 
What? Maybe a wait, trade or wait, hold on, hold on. The dude, ones you just got, the eleven and with a half, the best colors I've yes, ever seen, dude. The eleven and a half is tight, bro. It's it's. I took the insole out yeah. and I've been wearing them around the crib to just see if I could get a buy and break them in. Yeah. I don't want to be. I don't like to be restricted with shoes with uh-huh. my shoes. I feel like if I wore these, it would be like I'd have to wear them in spurts. Like I, it couldn't be a long day. I couldn't just wear, put those on, walk out the door, and be in for God knows what that day. No sneaker con days. No, no. Okay. They're tight. They're eleven and a half, and I thought I'd be able to make them work, but I don't know, man. Oh, I know, man. I know. I'm so sad. I'm trying to decide if I can what I want to do. That was a hell of a come up. It was hella colorways that were super sick. Dave looked out for me. Like you, I might just, tight. I might have Damn. to just try to see if I can trade trade bait them for some other maybe some other people have me Adidas there, mm. maybe other uh, some colorways I like my size. I don't know yet. Damn, I know, dude. That's I'm a super, bummer, dude. I know, because you love me Adidas, but I do feel good because the homie Josh Cheek, he is the most diehard Saints fan I know, uh, you and get- he already hit me up about that. He's like, dude, when you get sick of wearing the insole in those dog, hit me up, bro. I'll cop them from you. Yeah. I know you're gonna get sick of that, and it's not even that I'm sick of it. It's that yeah. I'm trying to do it, and it's not working very well. So to be That's able to a bummer, to be dude. able to oop a pair to him like that would be super dope. Totally. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed out on it for sure because I was just so geeked on all the pairs. You know, yeah. I just wish they were twelves. Um. Continuing along, Brian the Philly plug. What's good, homies? Rockies this weekend taking three of four. Oh, my bad. We already talked about that one. Yeah. Let me go back to the other ones, the new ones. Um, yeah, the oh, have. yeah, and then James. Here's James' new comment on the uh, on the new cast. Uh, James Guragna. Damn, I should have quizzed you. Guragna. I need to take the L on that. Should've Not goo. Take that L on the way up. Like just gu. Like Guragna. Gun or gum. Guragna. It's like the, he's got the sauce in his name, ragu, yeah. but it's not in that order. It's Guragna, but he's got ragu. In there. Oh no, he doesn't have goo, huh? No, well, he does have goo. He has goo ragna. No. no, it's go ragna. Go ragna. Go ragna. That's where I'm getting confused. Like gun. Yeah. Go ragna. Right, I need to get. Ra- I need to get ragu out of my head. It's messing me up. Go. Go ragna. Go ragna. All right. Just to clarify, Jay on JJ's abs tickets. JJ, remember this? <laughs> remember this light, nice little combo we had the last show. He's I gonna, know. He will be it's going to Game Jose. Three of the series. As the eight seed, the Avs don't have time or don't have home ice for the entirety of the playoffs, meaning they will always start the series as the away team for game one. That's what we, him and I yes. were just talking about this the other day. On the website, in fairness, it is weird how they dab it on the website. On the Avs website, it says uh, one, Colorado so Avalanche game home game one. Yeah. They don't call it game three, they call it home game one, which is annoying yeah. because most people just immediately, Assume. their eyes don't see home, they just see game one. Home game one. Home is the key there. Yeah. So that's where he got confused. That's what happened. But yes, anytime uh, the lower the lower seed is always going to be the home ice advantage. That's why the Sharks played game seven at home versus the Golden Knights. They were a two seed. Golden Knights were a three seed. And so on and so forth. That's how it goes. Either way, I'll get to see him play. Either way, you're two. going to game three. Let's yes. let's call it that game I'm three. Gonna, well, I'm gonna see him in round two. So even if they lose these next two games, I'm still gonna be able to see him. Right. <laughs> uh, he continues along. Oh, here you go. The playoff tickets are printed saying home game one, home game two, etc. Which for the Avs, home game one would be game three, as TTF was sort of getting to in his comments. Good luck to the Avs. Hopefully they meet the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup Finals, and we can get some bets going. James coming in strong. I All like right. it. Let's get it going here. Let's get it going. So you're, uh, he's a Bruins guy, it looks like. Watch out for Columbus. <laughs> yeah, good luck to the Bruins, man. Columbus is tough. Columbus is looking good. I'm curious to see because it's interesting it's, inter- it's interesting to me that Toronto took them seven games. I thought Boston would close that thing out in five or six. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it would go to seven. They did take them to seven, and now it's got me questioning like, well, shit, Boston should beat the shit out of Columbus, but the way Columbus handled – Tampa they Bay swept Tampa. was that Columbus that good or was that Tampa Bay getting caught off guard not being in the playoffs last year then bouncing back Tampa the Bay same sleeping. thing happened to Calgary other than the fact we lost the first game but like we swept the next right games crazy crazy <sighs> stuff uh okay TTF Spurs in seven uh this oh it's from the homie AN uh okay TTF Spurs in seven I doubt. I don't. I gotta give a shot for that. Spurs are not in seven. Wrong. Nuggets are closing it out tonight, d- despite what Dallas thinks, and despite what the money Dallas is losing. Nuggets are closing it out tonight. <laughs> Next up, do y'all think if the Pink Dicks had good quality, the resale would be through the roof? Also, give JJ more mic time. He's the goat. I gotta give a shot for that. JJ is not the goat. What are we talking? The goat of what? <laughs> wow. The guy just barely learned to talk on the mic. An? What are we talking about here? The guy- yes, the guy's improving. The guy's getting better. But let's. 
you know, let's hold our horses here. Work. Take that L on the way out. In front of me, so. Hey, JJ. I got stop, some more. Stop telling your brother uh, to to <laughs> to stop commenting on the sneaks on our YouTube. Comments. Oh, is that your bro? Is that brother. your bro? A N. No. Is that your bro? He has, his name's A N, and he has no picture. That's your brother. That's your man. brother, man. A N. I'm just kidding. Call, <laughs> my little brother <laughs> is Michael. Dog. Yeah, you don't know his gamer tag, son. JJ is the most his literal gamer guy. Tag is Spider Monkey Dog. <laughs> <laughs> JJ's the most literal guy on YouTube I know. ever. The most literal. What, what's his social security number? Oh yeah, not falling for that one. Oh, <laughs> oh no, not falling for that. <laughs> Damn, what did JJ just have some helium? <laughs> not falling for yeah. that one. <laughs> oh shit, from oh, the like Simpsons. A, like no, he sounds like that sounded like uh, Honey, We Blew Up the Kid, where he's like with the rabbit. He's trying to talk to the kid to calm him down. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, for sure, for sure. That's old. That's out of the archives. That's funny. I'm not falling for that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next up, the homie Taylor is in. Ugh. I love how the walk-up song gives us such this, a nostalgic feeling when talking about a player. Crazy Train for me will always be Chipper Jones, and every time I hear it, I picture him suited up all over again. Down here at the games, if they play that song, that means he's in the house, and the crowd stands up and salutes like it's the national anthem. Damn, that's super sick. I didn't know. I don't even know if it's like that for Larry. I mean, that that song is definitely in my mind as far as being related to Larry Walker, but I'm not sure. I, I think that, I bet you they do play Crazy Train when he's in the house. I've never been there on a day yeah. where Larry's just at the park chilling, but I bet you they do. And if they introduce him, right? Rocky's freaking, you know, go nuts. Yeah, uh, I bet you they do something like that. It makes sense. Um, Continuing along, the homie Goldeneye up next. Yo, dope cast, guys. Can't wait for the Yeezy 350 V2 triple black. Not sure how I feel about the reflective version. Big Boy Chang somehow already has the reflectives. This dude has everything. He puts Dre and Project Blitz to shame. Dude, that's what I was saying. When I saw yeah. that video of Seth Fowler, I watched the whole video. I didn't forward it all. I was watching the whole thing, and I was just kept asking JJ. I was like, dude, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? We were watching it here in, in the uh, studio while we were working. Shoes I have never seen in my life right i'm like, like do you even know what those are do you know what those are do you see this i'm like look at this supreme he just had literally everything, everything from every hype beast like all the bear bricks the toys like mm -hmm. he had every toys sneakers bear bricks collectibles Anything like hype beast related he Takashi, had it. wild it, yeah, dude like, yeah I mean, any any hype beast shit wild so if you didn't get to check that out man it's a great watch go check out seth fowler's uh video he did with big boy chang it was he just has a ton of shit um he continues along. Damn, Dal. Not one, but two Game Boys? I would expect nothing less from a collector. <laughs> As a kid, I took the biggest L on the Game Boy and getting the Atari... Uh I took the biggest L passing on the Game Boy and getting the Atari Lynx instead because it was in the color. It was super bulky and all the games sucked. Take yep. that L on the way out. Damn. The worst. That sucks, dude. That is a big L. Yeah, it's a huge L. I kind of took that L too Nintendo. with the regular or with the Super Nintendo. I think I told you guys I got outvoted by yeah. my family. We got a Sega instead of a Super. <laughs> Sega. I wanted Mario Kart. <laughs> I wanted like all that shit yeah. and everyone we're over here playing Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> yeah. But I guess we did get Mortal Kombat and shit, which they didn't yeah, get until. Did Sega. they ever release that on Super, or was it later? I have no Just idea. to no. So I guess there was. It was more. You got some more violent games on Sega. You didn't get. <laughs> you but did. I, but my parents wouldn't let me get them anyway. Dude, my favorite game, Sega Altered Beast. Right. Right. Oh, I think that came with most Segas. I had to go play that at a friend's house. Oh damn. Yeah. Well, you're a little older too. Altered uh, Beast. I was younger. Like Rampage, they got all kinds of. They got they got all kinds of dope games. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Sega. Mm -hmm. Street For sure. Fighter. I know, yeah, all that shit. The Maddens. Uh, the homie Kyle is up. Clax coming through. Quick comment, not going to waste time. First, Fire Podcast, which now is just par for the course. Pun intended, Dell. <laughs> nice. Uh, second, my go-to Easter kicks the last couple of years are the Kith Linen AF1s. Also one of my all-time favorite kicks. Third, pulled the trigger on the... Uh, pulled the trigger on two GoTrex GXLs for me and the woman. I love it. She hates it. That, so that's cool. <laughs> he said, I love it. She hates it. So that's cool. That's all I got. See you next uh, See you next show, homie. See you fools next time. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> dude, the GoTrex XLs, that's exactly what I have. Hand brakes, disc brake. You know, they have disc brake in the back wheel. So great, man. What do you say? 350 on them? Uh, so my man dropped seven here. Dude, they went on sale for three. So if he, if, if was that Kyle? Yeah. If Kyle got lucky, he got it at three. So six for two. Woo! Two for six. And she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She hates it. So that's, so that's cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Do you know the uh, Kith Lennon AF1s? Have you ever seen those? Yes. Yes. 
Let me see. Uh, yep, that's the one. Yeah, those are pretty dope. That's that a, is a great Easter pair. That's dude. a great Easter Pink pair. Pink swoosh. Problem is with Air Force Ones, they're still Air Force Ones. They're right. chunky, chunky. But those pencils. aren't getting creased up. That's true. Those aren't getting creased up at all. I think that if you're, that's, dude, that's a fire comment. Cause, oh, man, my bad. I didn't even mean to hit you with the bitch shots, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hit him with <laughs> the bitch shots. Damn, that was a misfire. You need, <laughs> you need to delete that. I need to delete the bitch shots. Yeah. I had him on here for JJ, but uh, he the, has been whoa, actually yeah. coming through with some good yeah. comments, you know? <laughs> whoa, yeah. Yeah, that's, that replaced the bitch. Yeah, shots. unfortunately, we can't use bitch shots because JJ's the goat. I guess. No, yeah, no shit. Had All no of a sudden, idea. he's the goat. Wow. A N. Lomi Landon is up next. Uh, wow, the Game Boy bringing back childhood memories. I had a Game Boy Color and played Pokemon, Super Mario, and Donkey Kong. Dope. Also used the Game Boy Light because there was no backlight on the display. Mm-hmm. Looked like a book reading light. It did, dude. Exactly. It did. That's why I was trying to tell JJ there was no color, so it wasn't color. Like there was no light. You had to buy a light that clearly it was I was hearing a joke um, a while back. It was uh, when you were playing those sorts of games and while you were in the car, you would have to like wait till the like you pass one of the street lamps so you could see what the hell is going on because there was no <laughs> light. Real. Or, or you were on road trips and you kept turning on the cabin yeah. light and your mom would reach back and smack you or punch <laughs> you in the face like, <laughs> knock it off, I'm driving, I can't see. <laughs> that was the worst. I, I remember never, that. I never got smacked for turning on the dome light. Oh, I, I did. pretty sure what kind of childhood you had. We got we got told no four, uh, four times and then after that, it was it was, <laughs> it was yeah. open season. I it was did, open season. I got two okay. nose but i never got smacked for the dome light oh we we were allowed four and after that fourth it was it was on like i Donkey remember Kong. getting lied to quite a bit about the dome light parents telling me it was illegal and oh, then yeah. finding out that it's actually not illegal <laughs> you could have your dome line on all night if you want to <laughs> driving around my parents it's hit not me illegal that. yeah, yeah. Did everyone, uh, whose parents didn't tell hey turn that off it's illegal we're gonna I get was, a pull, we're gonna get pulled over i was over. literally told yeah. my parents couldn't see while they were driving yeah that's turn that light off. I can't, I can't see. see. Now yeah. they're just lying to yeah, you. Like now they're straight. You know, my the illegal. They're trying to just <laughs> use the authority to scare you a little bit. Your parents just straight lied. What do you mean they can't? Of course they can see. <laughs> they can see just fine. What kind of car did they have? What were you driving around in a minivan? Yo, cool question. <laughs> okay, JJ, that's fine. Just no sell no, me. Take no, sell sorry, no was, sell me. We just got like put, uh, tagged in a tweet. It said like the last cast doesn't have timestamps on uh, on YouTube. Uh, yeah, on the YouTube version. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to look at it. But Take that L on the way out. No, yeah, we had a Chevy out. Blazer. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Growing up? <laughs> yeah. Chevy Blaze. All right, I'll look at it. I'll look at it in a minute. Uh, for um, sure. The homie Daniel's up next. Yo, what is going down, TTF? I've been rocking with you guys since the NMD reviews and your apartment catching on fire. I switched over to listening to the cast on Apple Podcasts while I'm delivering for FedEx. I wish I did it sooner. All of you fools hating need to switch over to listening to the cast while you're out driving. Hear me out on this. You'll like the 700 Inertias with the peach lace swap, perfect for spring. I have the mobs with the electric green lace swap, perfect for fall. Remember uh, I was telling you about Crystalia with those? Yeah. Um, he continues along. I love that boost is de- or I love that boost is dead quotation marks because I'm copying grails for cheap dog. I got the reigning champ ultra boost 1.0s for basically retail. Hmm. So much fire on a budget. Lastly, Dal, you're the man, dog. You're bringing your A game on the regular and balancing this shit out. You guys should be able to concentrate on this full time and make bank. String sting, bringing the young man vision and keeping it relevant. Love the cast and you fools definitely have the talent to make it big. Also, Brady is the goat. Sorry, Peyton, and go. Let's go, Celtics. We uh <laughs> we can take the golden we can take Golden State. Fire. He also had some fire emojis in there. Little uh, shamrock for the Celtics. Mm. Brady with the goat, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, I agree. Dude, I think awesome comment, Dan. Thanks for coming through, dog. I really appreciate it. I totally agree. That's what I was trying to tell people. Like, You don't have to watch it. You don't have to consume it all at once. You could consume it in pieces and chunks. You could throw your earphones in while you're at the store. You can lose your iPod case somewhere along the day yeah. that's wrapped in Gucci that someone took that you don't even know. You lost it, and then your homie can oop you another one. That yeah. could happen to you, too. That's just a joke. You know, uh, what also, you know what also can happen? What? You could get a phone call. Yeah. And you could get a Hot Wheels car today. What? No way. Is that yeah. is it is that for real? Yeah. He's down? Wait. Yeah. I legit checked it. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why JJ's the GOAT. He, that's why JJ's the GOAT. I legit so, checked it. All right. So the, reason the, I, the reason I walked out, yeah. um, this guy called me, has tons of Supreme. He's like, I'm in LA picking up Supreme right now. Um, he's like, my son's going to drive down. Uh, to get his stuff legit checked. Yeah. Uh, like all of us have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he said he'll bring it. 
dope. So you're gonna meet him at the thing. Yeah. At the at uh yeah, at the, the legit check. Yeah. The whole legit check thing. Nice. Yeah. yeah that's for SneakerCon, they have a whole legit check. They have to go. You were explaining to us before we started the show. You have to go down there and legit check all 295 pairs you're bringing to SneakerCon. Yeah. yeah. Before you actually oh, put them on the booth. I mean, I guess it's good yeah. for people there, but geez, how annoying for you. They can't just come by your store. You have a storefront. You have to actually bring, rent a U-Haul, take all this stuff there, then take it all back, then take it all again on Saturday. That's a lot. Take insane. People like JC, who's coming from a different state. J- JC probably don't have to do anything. JC right. just has to bring his money. But right. it's like, okay, JC might have been a bad example, but like people from outside the state coming in with their shops, like I can't imagine. It's actually, it's, it's actually probably better. Because they're driving around with everything in the U-Haul automatically. True. This guy's yeah. to rent the U-Haul okay. twice and go back and forth. The only thing that I'm, the only thing that I'm concerned about, worried about, um, the place that they have um, us legit checking stuff. Mm-hmm. No, no disrespect to them or anything like that, but it's the, small. The neighbor, na- the neighborhood. Oh, in oh yeah, is not the greatest. Little rough. Sure. Yeah, sure. five points area. Right, right. You know, so, Whew. Have fun, bud. Unloading two hundred ninety five pairs out the back of the U-Haul. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, hey, a question for Jesus. you. So, what about what about the so the people that uh, just bring their random shoes? They just go to the legit check area within SneakerCon. Is that how this kind of? We've never been to one. Is yeah, that so, how that works? So, so, like with the um, like they have the legit check booth. Okay. And they go in and like that. So people will be like, uh, meet me at the legit check booth. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Make sure. Like if they're gonna do a deal or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then That's they just cool. they stop. They like. Get the uh, the little legit check sneaker, the little con. sneaker con black yeah. uh, things. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I mean, so with that, I respect that because StockX now you can buy the tags on eBay, right? Of course, mm-hmm. yeah. And and there's and one thing I just seen the other day was there's a Discord group like committed to selling fakes through stock eggs. wow completely wow. through just trying to pass them just off, trying just trying to, pass trying to. Off. and wow. some 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 are unsuccessful. Some are unsuccessful, but I've seen one that I've seen that blew my mind was uh, Chicago Off White ones for twelve hundred dollars. No way! And they, and they paid one sixty for them. Wow! Yeah, so that's crazy, dude. And the Off Whites are getting good, man. They're getting yeah, really all good. The, shoes the fakes are. Yeah, I guess I'll just Travis Scott. Those, we've those we've new been talking Jordan about one. doing a lot more real versus fakes just to yeah. ex- educate yeah. the community. How, so I think like, we want to partner with yeah, you on that and definitely. try to get yeah. We'll get it going. No doubt. If you get fakes in, be like, yo, I got a fake pair of these that came through. We do. You know, right we now. hung on to them, whatever. What do you got? What? Which fake uh, pair Fresh what? Fresh Prince of Bel Oh, so, really? So the kid brought them in. Yeah. And we were super busy. And I was like, yeah, just give me your information, you know, and I'll check it in or whatever and, and get everything going. And uh, and I just put it to the side. I didn't even look at it. I just opened the box, seen it. All right, cool. Put it aside. Got his information. And then as we're doing, <clears throat> as we're doing our inventory and everything at the end of the night, I look and I'm like, I grab the box and I'm like, this box ain't dusty. It's fake. Yeah, no you know shit. Yeah, like yeah. the black is like gray hmm. and like yeah. the, the size tag immediately threw me off. Yeah. Damn. It's a used pair. And, and I, so I called him. I was like, hey, man, you know, as much as we would like to consign the pair, um, unfortunately, they're not authentic. Yeah, they're not passing our yeah. standards. Yeah. Over so, here. But everybody's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's everybody's cool. Pretty cool about yeah, what are you going to do? You bring in fake shoes. I mean, yeah, exactly. is what it is. Uh, the homie Landon up next. Not looking forward to the NFL draft because the Bears traded away all their picks, LOL. I am, however, looking forward to the NHL draft because the Blackhawks have the third overall pick. I'll be rooting for the Avs in the playoffs, though. Also, that Dame Lillard three at the buzzer for 50 points. Damn. Fire. Damn, Dame. I agree, man. I think it was it was dope that the shot went in. I think it was uh, – but anyone saying it was risky or they're giving them all the pra- – I mean – you know, he had nothing to lose. Right. There's no gamble. There's nothing on the line there. You're going to overtime either way. You're not losing. So, sorry, I wanted to ask you, what's the what's the price on the car? Supreme car. What are we getting it for? When he's bringing it through, have you guys negotiated pricing yet? Yes. And is there, what do we what do we need to come out of pocket here? 80 bucks. That's not bad. 80 bucks. That's cheaper than stock X. We're getting it today. Yeah. yeah. Your homeboy gets to keep his car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that all worked out for everybody. Yeah. Do it. All right, we're yeah. in. We'll have some sick content. Uh, Blake P up next. TTF's lackadaisical is my Connecticut. I spent my whole youth thinking it was uh, thinking it was connect Connecticut. When I found out the C was silent in the middle, I simply could not believe it. It was like my whole childhood was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut. Connect I cut. Yeah, because he yeah, connect to cut. Connect to cut. Connect to kit. Oh yeah, connect to cut. Yeah. That's, that's what, what it I was. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, lackadaisical, lackadaisical. Yeah, the only lax I use is X lax. 
Good one, Dal. You know what I mean? Crushing them. <laughs> we all know that you're feeling shitty. Yeah, we all know yeah. you're shitty at your house. Your, your house is a shitty, shitty situation. situation. <laughs> yeah. uh, there'll be Matthew up next. Dow, how did the audit go at work? I'm a big Stars fan, so right now all I've been watching, that's all I've been watching, and my girl's been getting into it too because she thinks some of the players are hot. Crying emoji, shaking my head. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> nice. Uh, so how'd the audit go? Auto went well. I am at company standards, so uh, that's a that's a win. Uh, number two, uh, so my DM, yeah, keeping my DM off my back. She's happy with me, and uh, store's performing. So that's obviously most important. Audits are important as well, but store is doing great. Store's performing, so appreciate you, man, remembering. Mike the man, another great guest, another great cast, fellas. What did I do with my life before the most underrated? Keep it up, guys. Can't wait to see how the cast goes from the cast from the, the con goes. I'm sure it will be incredible. Hell yeah, Joe. Appreciate you, Doug. I uh yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a bunch of interview stuff. Hope I'm hoping it goes smooth, man. I'm hoping we're able to get everyone we want. No one's big time in us or none of that shit. Uh days 365. Yo, bread four, not cement four, Dow Pal. Damn. Uh, I've got a comment for you. Go ahead. Go ahead and watch Nightwing's video. Go ahead and watch Fomer Simpson's review. It is known as the Bread 4. It is also known as the Cement 4. That's Mm. what that gray is on the bottom that goes throughout the whole effing shoe. So, hey, Cotton, why don't you go ahead and take that L on the way Cotton. It wasn't Cotton. It was actually Days. (laughs) Days. So, so (laughs) What do you got? Black Cement 4. See? Black Cement 4. So, so cement like Black four. Cement 3? Yep. Black Cement Black 3. Black Cement 4. So they have multiple cement, names. A.K.A. Bread 4. They have multiple names. I call, Playoff, Countdown Pack. I call them the Bread 4. Yeah. I don't call them the Black Cement 4, so whatever. Yeah, but there they, are other people that do call them the Cement 4 mul- or Black Cement 4, and that's not wrong. And that's why I said it both You're ways. Saying. I said Bread 4 on the cast, last cast. Bread 4, Cement 4, A.K.A. I think I said A.K.A. You know, yeah, I mean, because so. they even call like white cements like the do the right thing fours, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it was in the movie. So, I mean, there's no official na- like Jordan doesn't say bread, it doesn't say on the box bread four, so right. or black cement, or right? There, that's what we talked about a couple yeah. episodes ago. They're all made up names, sure. like, it's all street streetwear made up names. None of it's put out by Nike except yeah. for the walk the dog. Yeah, remember, I, I like dog <laughs> oh, walker so much better. Dog walker was dog walker, so much walk more fire. Yeah, but yeah. they they call it the walk the dog. Yeah. Should have been dog walker, which was the weed. So strand so too. days, <laughs> yeah. I, I days, I would say, uh, you know, just just check the street smarts out there and what people are saying. It's all right. good. Nobody's right. Nobody's, Nobody's wrong. wrong. The homie Lucky is up next. Hey, I'll take the ten and a half if you want to sell them. Hmm. Really? Yeah, I ha- I have them. Yeah, I need a size ten for sure. Your boy Lucky Sereno. Lucky Coming Sereno. Yeah, uh, I'll hit you up, Lucky. My man Roe is in Dow. Have you been drinking today? <laughs> Damn, that's probably because the uh, it's probably because the uh, the whole Teddy situation, the hyperspace that we're in hyperspace, and all that stuff. Pausing the vlog, that was fun. Must that was a fun been. time. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad you guys got to witness that unfold. That was party. Uh, <laughs> my man Carlos is up next. I learned the word lackadaisical. Uh, I'm sorry. I learned the word lackadaisical in seventh grade in public school in North Carolina. I could probably tell you the exact day of I uh, if I tried hard enough. I knew I never knew why it was so important to remember that inv- that vocab word, but here I am, and it's my time to shine. Killer show again, fellas. There's nothing lackadaisical about your effort that you all put into the cast. <laughs> Shots for you all. <laughs> Bang! There you go. There you go. Charlotte, baby. Cat daddy, fast stacks commented. You gotta love that uh, public school in Charlotte. Did a lot better than what it did for me here. I didn't. That wasn't on my vocab list, unfortunately. Hmm. Lastly, well, go ahead. Only thing I know in uh, North Carolina is Petey Pablo. Oh, yeah. North Carolina, I want to raise up. up. Take your shirt off. Twist it around your head. Spin it like a helicopter. Oh, that's fire right there. Yeah. I'm pumped right now. I need to walk out of the, the streets. Then, then he did like the USA remix. Like Oh, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, he would do a whole bunch of different Bay Area. Uh, you know, so all that. Yeah, he did a whole bunch of remember stuff. Remember they used to do that all the time? Yeah, bro. Like yeah. Denver had a song. Bro, like mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah. We were just playing that the Mile other day. High. The mm-hmm. Mile High. Yeah. Uh, Gotta give it up for the West Side. side. Yeah. Oh, dude. Talk holy shit. Park Hill. And Taking me back. Yeah. yeah. What is it? It was uh, QC. Or five. Or all my people. I don't remember how. Dubs in the air, wave them like you just don't care. Five yeah. points to Lodo, what you know, all day, every day, any damn day. That's what it was. It was fire. <laughs> Man, we need to come in with that. I don't even know. I wonder if everyone else knows that. People on the West Coast probably know that. So I don't know how I've big that song was on the East Coast. Ones, and they, he has one for every 
like major city every state oh no shit yeah. wow it's insane he, he definitely did because i mean who wouldn't who would know about uh like Park Hill and, and yeah, yeah, like yeah, the all that shit. Denver yeah. General Hospital and like right, all the all stuff he says stuff. in there. Yeah, that's so, dude, that's, that's so tight. funny. Uh, finishing up the homie Seagrass again, going off with the the uh, playoffs. He said NFL or NHL playoffs go like this: two at home, two away, then one at home, one away, and one at home. So the same as the NBA, mm-hmm. it's two, two, one, one, one. Baseball is two, three, two. That's where I got confused. To be dead honest with you, I'm not really locked in at hockey at any time throughout the year yeah. until the Avalanche make the playoffs. I just don't have the time to consume that much. Same thing with baseball. I, I can pay attention here and there. I'll catch games here and there. I'll go hit rocks games here and there. But as far as being completely locked in, if it's not mattering, it's hard for me to get super invested because of so all the other shit I have going on in my Especially life. Baseball is like almost exactly every day. No, none of the games right. matter yet. Like, <laughs> I, it's hard for me to get invested in early season baseball or a full early season mid season hockey or even basketball sometimes NBA. I'm more interested in when the shit starts going down. Yeah. When it starts coming down to the end, let me lock in. Let yeah. me see who's really doing it. And let me not pay attention to the people that don't matter. Because I don't have the time to. Until then, it's a pass for me. Exactly. <laughs> it's a pass for me, dog. It's a pass. Uh, so that's it for YouTube comments today, man. Appreciate you guys coming through as always. Uh, rocking with us. I wanted to do the prop bets really, really quickly here. Mm-hmm. We have like seven minutes left, man. So um, do you want to do the underrated news or do you want to do the prop bets? Prop bets. We've got to make some choices. For sure. We're going to have to make bets. some. Uh, all right. We have to make some choices here. All right, so who will be the second overall pick in the NFL draft? Second overall. They have Josh Allen out of Kentucky, DN. You got Dwayne Haskins, quarterback, Ohio State, Kyler Murray, Oklahoma, Quinn and Williams, Alabama, or Nick Bosa, Ohio State. Nick Bosa is the favorite at mm-hmm. minus four hundred. Everyone else you're gonna get plus odds on. So you get plus three hundred on Kyler Murray, plus four hundred to Quinn and Williams, Dwayne Haskins plus twelve, and Josh Allen plus twelve. Meaning you put down a hundred, you mm-hmm. win twelve hundred. You put down ten, you win hundred and twenty. It's all based off of a hundred dollars yep. there. So multiples of ten. Go ahead. What do you uh what do you guys want to put up on here? I think it's going to be Nick Bosa with a runaway. I got to go. Runaway. Bo- Bosa is is it seems so easy. Okay, so uh, let's not even bet on yep. this one. I think we're on Can't the same page. Yep. Uh, what about the first um, defensive back drafted? Mm. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be Greedy Williams at LSU. So you got Greedy Williams, Byron Murphy, DeAndre Baker, um, or the field. You can choose any other. I would say Greedy Williams at LSU. He is also the favorite, minus 130. Um, I kind of don't like that either. It seems too easy. I just don't see anyone else going over him. He's like the number one guy as far as that position goes. Let me see what um, – do you think Kyler Murray's going number one? Yes. Okay, so we agree on that one. Yep. Do you think it's going to be the Cardinals then or think someone else is going to trade into the number one spot? Cardinals. Okay, I agree. We're, we're the same on there. All right, how about this? This is interesting. This is very interesting. This is beyond interesting. Below not good. (laughs) Check it out. Team to draft Dwayne Haskins. Mm. New York Giants, Washington Redskins, Oakland Raiders, Jacksonville Jaguars, Miami Dolphins, Denver Broncos, or Cincinnati Bengals. This is one I think we can maybe put some money on. Where do you think he's going? You know the draft order. You know how it's going down. Who do you think is going to take my man there? Dwayne Haskins. And also, by the way, mm-hmm. I would be ecstatic. And from a Michigan man saying this, it hurts me. It mm-hmm. pains me. But I would be so ecstatic if the Broncos do- uh, drafted Dwayne Haskins. Dude, I've have you been hearing the interviews this guy's doing? It may be smoke and yeah. mirrors, but he sounds so legit. Dude. He he's a hell of a salesman if he's selling you on this. If he doesn't turn out to be... Not even, I'm not saying great. It doesn't have to be great. But is he, if he doesn't turn out to be a good franchise quarterback for a team, let's say, who do I want to compare him to? I want to go Russell Wilson, but he's won a Super Bowl, so that's almost great. You're almost putting that in the great category. Right. Not to say every Super Bowl, every uh, quarterback that's won a Super Bowl is great, but I think Russell Wilson has had a really, really good career. I don't know that it's been great just yet, even though they did win that bowl. But I feel like it's been really good. I I would I, I think Dwayne Haskins is going to have something along that lo- along those lines. I think he's going to have a pretty good career. I think he may have a Joe Flacco type career, which is another Super Bowl champ. But you could say Joe's had ups and downs. He hasn't all been good. It's not been Ben Roethlisberger, future Hall of Famer, guaranteed slam dunk. Mm-hmm. But it's been good. I think Haskins is going to have the same kind of career, especially when you hear him say stuff uh, in these 
in these mock interviews, like he's been breaking down tape since age 10. And then you're hearing scouts that watch this guy break down tape and they're like, super impressive. He knows the field. He knows the coverages. He knows what he's looking at. This isn't some, this isn't a guy like Paxton Lynch that's stepping in that had ran eight plays at Memphis and they were all color coordinated. Hey, run, run number three on two. You know what I mean? Run, run blue on two. This is a guy that's breaking down tape that knows protections, that knows schemes. I think he just looks impressive to me, dude. And the only thing, and the, uh, now we've only seen him play one year of big time college football at Ohio state. And I know at least in the Michigan game, I didn't watch every Dwayne Haskins game, but in the Michigan game, it wasn't that hard for him because the receivers were running wide open all over the field. It wasn't that difficult to fit the ball and there was no tight spaces. He was just throwing it up there and they were routing Michigan. So it wasn't that impressive there. But throughout the, I did go back and look at some highlights. I did go back and look at some tape on him. I'm impressed by the guy. What do you got? Here's what I would say. Uh, with Haskins, I think he ends up uh, with the Redskins is where I'd put my money because the only other options were probably Cincinnati, who I think is going to take Drew Locke uh, because they need a QB as well. And I think the Broncos still go with the uh, Devin Bush. Dude. That's where I'm at. Okay, so you, so you think the Skins. I think the Skins. And you think they falls to the Skins? I do. Or you think they go up to get him? Because, uh, well, right now we're sitting at the skins with 15. Uh, right now, no, I think the skins take him at 15. They don't go chase him. I think Dwayne Haskins uh, can and will end up around that that uh, that area. Between I, 10 and 15 is where Dwayne Haskins, 15 on the low end, 10 on the higher end, that's where Haskins is going to fall. JJ, do you have a thought on this? I'm saying the New York Giants. I think that's a smoke screen. Mm. Everything I've heard is the Giants hate him, mm. but I think it's a screen, dude. I do not know how the Giants could pass on him at six. Nope, nope, nope. They're going with Josh Allen. No. Yep. No, I don't think so. I think. How I, much money you want to put on it? We're already putting up money. <laughs> we're already putting up more money. No, no. Yeah, more money. No, no. I think I think we put up like five bucks per prop. Okay. If neither of them are right. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, that's cool. All right, we can do that. Then. So five five bucks per prop. I got the Giants. JJ, write all these down, please. I got the Giants. You got, got the uh, skins. You got the skins. So that's the first bet. Who Dwayne Haskins is going to? Yeah. All right. Next one up. Uh, let's see. First running back drafted. I don't really like that wide receiver. Oh, here you go. Here's a good one. Oh, your boy Ed Oliver. Let's go some over unders. Ed Oliver draft position over under at six and a half. So will he be drafted before or after six? Is basically what uh, they're asking. Ed you. Oliver. All right. Let's see. Six and a half. I'll give you um, my thoughts on Ed Oliver. I'm going under. So uh, if you feel the same, then we don't need a bet. Uh, six or under? I have, I'm taking under. I have him going at four, I have so at, under. I have him at three, so there's no bet there. Gotcha. What about... Uh, so you have him going to the Jets? Yes. I have him going to Houston. What about Josh Allen? Josh four Allen? Four and a half. Over under four and a half. Over. I have him going at six. <clears throat> Remember, with Josh Allen. So I have to I have to stick with my guns and what I just said. You have him at six? Yep. I have him over. Yeah, I do too. Damn it. I don't have him at six. I JJ, don't worry. Months. You don't need to write anything down yet. Uh, what about Drew Locke? Over under 10 and a half. That's an interesting one. Ouch. Uh, Drew Locke. Um, you, over, what was it? Again? Over under 10 and a half. A lot of people have mocked him going to the Broncos at 10. So you would need over there. Wow. Um, that's, that's the one I said earlier. So that's my Cincinnati Bengal pick. So that would be over. That's 11. I think it's over as well. I, I don't see anyone taking Drew Locke before 10. Yep, I have him at 11. I honestly think that's over. probably the lock of the draft. You're going to lock in any of these futures? Yeah. I think that's the one. Take lock. Get locked in on lock at plus 10 and a half. Is that what it was? Over 10 and a half. Over which is over half. under, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, so we're even on that. Um, ooh, how about this one? QBs drafted in the first round over or under three and a half. Ooh, I think I have three. So I think I'm going to have to take under. Let me make sure. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Same. Uh, Let's see. Okay, one. Yeah, in w in what? How many? Sorry. Over under three and a half. Tough. Yeah. Tough. I would say you got to go under, right? Um, I'm calculating. <laughs> I'm tabulating. You're going under? And that was the first round? What, say it again. What was the actual question? How many quarterbacks in the first round? Over oh, or under three and a half? In the first round. Yep. Um, Damn, so that's so 30. QBs have, drafted as a first rounder. That's 30. Okay, so, you have to have so that's 32, 32 teams. Picks. Three? Patriots ending the, ending the uh, picks there at 32. All right, hold on. Let me count mine. All right, so. Three. Damn, dude. I think I'm going under. Yeah, I'm going under on uh, 
on QBs. I'm Cause taking because it was, it was uh, yeah. I've got to go under because I'm at, I'm at three. Damn it! So yep. we agree on that. I got to go under. Um, let me see, dude. This is so. There's so many number of Alabama players drafted in the first round. That's so crazy. Wow. Oh, what about Kyler Murray's suit color, Dallas? <laughs> <laughs> Black, blue, gray, white, red. No suit. No oh, suit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe he comes with the Zeke Bone Elliott. Naked. <laughs> the, oh. cut, <laughs> the cut suit with the abs showing. Yeah, no doubt. Um, okay, I don't, I don't know about that. Will a top 10 pick be traded on draft day? I don't think so. No. Uh, top 20? Yeah. What about this? Well, what about this long shot future? Will Kyler Murray start week one? You don't think the Redskins will trade up to get Dwayne Haskins? Well, well that was I'm it doesn't on, matter. Like, it doesn't uh, matter if they trade up. What what was the question? What was the bet on Dwayne so, Haskins? Uh I was just kind of curious because I'm looking on I think it's like CBS NFL, their mock draft, and it said that they're gonna take Haskins with a third round pick. Third round? Yeah. No, Get out of my face. No, he ain't going to be here in the third yeah, round. You mean first, first round, round, third pick? Third pick, and they <laughs> traded with the New York Jets. That's what the mock draft is saying? Yes. Here's what I want you to do. Close your laptop and set it on fire. That mock draft's trash. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. So, yeah. In stone cold voice. Hey. Here's what I want you to do. Yeah. Close the damn laptop. Set the thing on fire. Stomp a mud hole in it. Walk it dry. Give a couple Stone Cold Stunners. Go outside. Go in the middle of Broadway. Give it another Stone Cold Stunner. Clank a couple Steve Weisers. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. I would take it back to my house because that laptop is obviously acting shitty. I got a lot of shit at the house. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Perfect. It fits. Nice. Mm-hmm. If it, if it's it the fits. theme. All right. We have, what was, the, what was the Dwayne Haskins bet, JJ? Do you even know? Yes. What was it? Uh, it's because I don't for know. five dollars. You're taking the Giants. Dallas is taking the Redskins. Oh, just who would draft him? Yeah. Yes. So if any of those teams don't draft him, it's a push. All right, I got another one on Haskins. Then over under ten and a half. Uh, like in draft pick. Yes. Mm. What do I have him at? I think I had him at fifteen. Damn, he could trade up. I mean, I, I've seen that. I don't. I don't believe JJ's <laughs> draft on, on <laughs> okay. that. No, I love it. Say, They're taking okay. him in the third round. Okay. <laughs> I want him in the third round, first, uh, first round, third round, first pick, <laughs> first round, third pick. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just bringing it up because I saw it. So we went, we're going late. Curious. We got to wrap the show. We got to wrap the show. You want him over under ten and a half? Um, I would say, damn, that t- that half kills. Um, I feel like you have to go over. You I, said you had him at fifteen. Early. I have to. Uh, but but I like the under uh, the possibilities of the. Under well, I'm because, going under because I have them with the Giants at six, so you're going over at over. fifteen, right? And, well, dude, save us and, time. And here. you have a potential of the Broncos at ten, which would be the under as well. So I, I like that. Um, so you don't like me getting the under, is what you're saying? No, you're too scared now. Yeah, you don't want to bet that. I one. don't want that one. Okay, what about you're taking uh, the Redskins? JJ, <laughs> get ready to write <laughs> some stuff. Down. How about a punt? Here's a super punt. Who will be Mr. Irrelevant, also known as the very last the very person last. drafted? Will it be a defensive player or a punter? That's one option. Mm-hmm. Or will it be an offensive player or a kicker? Tough. Yeah, that is. We I need w- the Jeopardy music here for you, Dallas. Jesus. I, w- I would say... Um, I would say... I'm going to stick... I'm going to stick with... Uh, I'm going to stick with a punter. So it's defensive player or punter. That's one answer. Let's go with that. Offensive player, kicker. Defensive player slash punter. All right. So write me down for offensive. Dallas is going defensive. That's an absolute Hail Mary bet. No, there's no insight to that whatsoever. Yeah. Um, okay. I like that one. Clemson players, LSU players. It gets too crazy. Okay. I think that's all the props. <laughs> I should have looked through these better. I thought we. I thought I had more for some reason. I think this is different prop sheet. The one I had up. I think up. no. I think you had a lot. We're just in agreement. On That's lot, true. That's true. Okay, you're right. You're right. We came to an agreement on both the other ones. Um, yeah, because we're we're the same. We think Kyler. We think we're Cardinal, smart. We're we think, smart. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out tonight. We're so smart. We'll find out tonight. All right, that ends the show, man. Um, let's wrap it up. We're running late here. I've got seventy on the line right now. Just so y'all know. <laughs> That's true. Yes, you do. You do. Did you document his bets from earlier? Yeah. All right. Good. Because I don't even remember them. Uh, the all right shout out to jr for coming through man from the re-up appreciate you coming through dropping knowledge bringing the sneaks we'll see you uh, next to our booth sneaker con we'll all be kind of there together on saturday so if you come by sneaker con want to take some flicks want to say what's up want to uh talk get, some shit want to get fresh with the aqua fresh 
Yeah, you want to get yeah. We got you exactly. Want to? Are we getting Aquafresh teas? Are I you getting so. a couple of those? I hope so. We're trying. Right. It's in the works. It's, oh, it's, keep keep it locked to the it's socials, cooking. and you'll know. And uh, other than that, man, we'll re- we'll be back to recap it all, and we will see you fools Tuesday.